Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you have a wonderful day and all. Now, hold on guys, I just need to save up these um, coordinates real quick, guys. Yeah, it's put simply, as you read my title, yes, I'm going to be making a wheel scan fun. Oh, wait, whoops, whoops, wrong coords, wrong coords. Well, hold on. Well, you know what, I'll just use the corner so above it. Now, guys, um, I was just doing the stream a few minutes ago, but I was trying to locate this, okay, guys? Now, guys, put simply, the reason that I was trying to locate is because, guys, this section here, like this little broken section, I actually need this for the wither skeleton farm that I'm planning to make right now. So, firstly, I need to get back to my home board because, guys, put simply, um, like, the tutorial would require slabs, and, well, guys, I know what the slabs would be required for. Making sure every area that's a block is patched up so then that way a wither skeleton can only spawn in the area that's going to be able to kill them. So, that way, yeah, so guys, let's just get back to my base, sort of, and we're going to grab the ingredients we need, so 17, 76, 8. I travelled a bit of a distance, guys, but yeah, guys, I wanted to make a wither skeleton farm, because why not? Like, I was planning to make a skeleton farm itself from a spawner, but I couldn't be bothered at the time, then, like, I was thinking, like, ugh, because then I found a wither skeleton farm store, and I was like, you know what, why not? Because guys, like, I just, like, I've been to, like, two different nether fortresses already, but, like, they weren't really above lava lakes. Now, guys, they don't have to be above a lava lake, but, like, they, I would prefer for it to be above a lava lake, because, guys, like I said, I know that I would have to place slabs across all the blocks within a certain area of it, and I really don't want to have to use that, because, guys, in the tutorial, JC plays, because that, guys, of course, that's the tutorial I'm using. Uh, well, that's the guy whose tutorial I'm watching to f use is, like, of course, making it, so, like, basically, well, you know, um, that, what was I about to say? Well, either way, guys, like, yeah, I'll, don't worry, also, in this world, guys, I will make a bridge, well, sort of tunnel section from the portal to, um, the fortress. So, in that way, guys, like, you don't have to worry about all the mobs ganging up on you in here, if I turn this into a realm, that is. Because, guys, still, I might not turn this into a realm. It still depends. It still depends. Because I'm... Because, guys, like I said, I never... Like, I did say in a certain video, like, I have kind of changed my mind because, like, of some financial difficulties. But, guys, like, honestly, if I... Like, trust me, I will try to see if I can manage to get a realm up and running. But otherwise, guys, I might just keep this as just a server. So then that... Because, guys, well... It'll, it'll become a bit difficult, but oh my god. Yeah, that lava's not flowing because of a mushroom. If that was in the real world, that mushroom would have been destroyed. We could technically light this portal right now. Hmm, is there gold blocks in the area? Oops. Didn't mean to do that, to be fair. I, I didn't mean to, you know, make that lava flow, to be fair. A magma guy died here. Yeah, um, I know that I think for the first part of the tutorial I have to place glass panes on that area specifically and put simply on it like then I have to wait for a wither skeleton to spawn because guys also in case you can't tell I'm on peaceful difficulty of course but like that's good as well guys I'm not journeying around the nether in hard difficulty because otherwise I'm gonna get myself killed. But guys, yeah, don't worry. Like, um, I think I have to like place some stuff, and then that way I have to wait for a wither skeleton to spawn in the area, then break all the glass panes around their spawn area, so then that way I know exactly where they'll spawn at. But guys, well, honestly, I kind of want a wither skeleton farm because, well, I really don't know why now. Because honestly, like, uh, I guess it's just so that then that way I can get a good supply of bones, and also if I ever feel like it, some wither skulls as well. Because who can turn down some wither skulls so you can summon a wither? Because no one's going to turn down summoning a wither, really. Unless, of course, you mean to use it as a way to really torment your friend for some reason. Like, you could use the wither as a prank, but it would be a very, very bad prank. Because it might easily backfire on you as well. Because, like, if you spawn him up, you'd have to flip and book it the other way immediately. No joke, you'd have to book it the other direct. By book it, guys, it means like just straight up, just leg it, like just start running immediately the moment you're spawning. Because otherwise, he's going to cause some destruction around your place. Hold on, can I 
chest online. Nope. But yeah, so first I need to get back to my base, open this tutorial up, because guys, I've still got it open behind me in the YouTube video. I've just got it on pause, and now, because guys, JC plays in the chest he had open, because, like, although he uses Crave mode, of course, I put simply, guys, um... Okay, we need to get offwards here. But yeah, I put simply, yeah, he had nearly a large chest full of stuff. So, and guys, I don't even have a shulker box. If I had a shulker box, sure, I would literally gladly make it in any area possible. But guys, I'm gonna not do that, okay? Glowstone. I really do like glowstone. Like, it's a cool block. But yeah, guys, we'll just, um... Now, guys, this is one of the nether fortresses I was already at. Don't worry. But guys, yeah, we're meant to do it well. We'll put it back to hard difficulty. And we'll go collect whatever resources we need for this farm. And then we'll come straight back to this location. Well, not this location I'm at. Like, the location that I was at at the start of the stream. Okay, guys? So, for now, let's get back to base. Why are the blaze rods there? There's no way me and Castle left blaze rods behind. I mean, I'll pick them up, but I doubt we left them behind. When you hit peaceful difficulty, did all the mobs in the vicinity die or something? And then like, but then they drop their mob loot because there's no way me and Casper left behind four blaze rods. I I doubt we would ever do that. I mean, maybe we might not have spotted them or something, but there's no way we would have just left four blaze rods behind. But guys, I'll still pick them up because why not? I am gonna leave some blaze rods behind. Wait, hold on. Oh yeah, I just had to make sure I was going in the correct direction because otherwise I thought like the other corner was moving instead. Whoa, that guy looked like he was walking straight into that lava there. But yeah, let's just get back to the portal, get to the other rod, grab whatever resources we need because I'll probably use um deep slate for the blocks I'm going to need, guys. And yeah, we'll just see what we can do. Now, actually, I could bring the blocks as, like, just their regular selves, but bring a crafting table with me instead. Because, guys, like, three blocks of whatever it is will actually turn into six slabs, so I could technically save a bit of space in a chest for that. Hmm, yeah, we can use that. Because, guys, it depends on where it is. Like, if it's, like, guys, because, like I said, he did say, like, it doesn't have to be a lava lake. But, like, if it is above a lava lake, well, I mean, if it isn't above a lava lake, if it isn't above a lava lake, then the, then you'll have to place a lot more slabs. Because, guys, like I said, knowing his tutorials, yeah, I'm going to have to place loads of slabs in the vicinity if it's not, like, you know, a lava lake. So, I would rather not have to do that. Because, guys, if I had a sugar box, like I said, fine. But, no, I only have an ender chest and an inventory. Go fight the Ender Dragon and just get some shulker boxes, but nah, can't be bothered. I mean, so you probably do. Are you scared? No, guys, I'm not scared. Also, guys, the summer update should happen tomorrow in Fortnite, but I might be a bit delayed to making a video, depending on how fast my Xbox updates. Because I'm gonna be a bit busy tomorrow. Because tomorrow, firstly, I'm gonna be going somewhere at 12 o'clock to do some shopping, and then a fire safety thing, which is gonna be at one o'clock, and then at, like around seven, I'm gonna. Well, around half six, I'm going to have to go somewhere to do some swimming. So I just have to hope that between when I get home after the fire safety thing, then right after that, I'll be able to, um, you know, hope that um, Fortnite will update fast enough on my Xbox. Because sometimes, guys, the update times can be very slow. Especially for me. Let's just go through. You're joking. Let's mine around the area, see if we can find more connected to it. Nope, it was only one piece. Alright, whatever. I did not intend to find that ancient debris there, guys, don't worry. I hit some maze, like, it's more common at Y level 15, but you can just find it at any Y level. That's, uh, that bloody noise still creeps me the hell out constantly whenever I hear that Enderman noise. Why do I get the feeling I'm in my mining system area? Like, as in, like, the portal mining area system that I made close by to it. Like, I feel like I'm close by to the pathway that goes to it. Okay, here we go. Bit of an opening.
Ow. Oh, this is definitely going to hurt a bit. Yeet. Half a half full damage. Thanks to peaceful difficulty, because otherwise that would hurt a lot, lot more. So it's just up there somewhere. Oh, wait. Oh, I see it from here. Maybe you can't see it, guys. Well, there's literally some wood right there. I don't know why we used some wood there, to be fair. I think it was just because, at the time, you know. Still remember when I had to use peaceful difficulty so I could trade with some piglins to get out the nether, because when I went into the nether, when mining, I literally got the portal destroyed by a gas randomly. Ow. Yes, yeah, so we'll just have to go back over there and then, guys, but I'll try to make a pathway straight away over there if I can. I can't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. Um, where's the portal area? I think it's the. Uh, oh, it's right there. Any mob could walk up there, I know, guys, but whatever. Let's get to the other vault and just get the resources we're going to need for this farm. So we can just get it out the way. Oh my god. Somehow daytime. By the way, in case you wonder what that is there, uh, I was just using that for a Minecraft achievement. Um, I think it was yesterday or the day before. Because put simply guys, for uh, Microsoft Rewards on Xbox, well actually Xbox Game Pass, you can do some simple daily quests and get some reward points straight back out of it. So usually the daily quest is just play any Game Pass game, Minecraft being one of them as well guys of course as you could probably tell, and then just get any get an achievement in any Game Pass game. So I went for the Caves and Cliffs challenge, guys, which was just jump from max height and go falling straight down to the bottom of the world and just survive. All you had to do was place water at the bottom of the world, guys, and just build all the way up to the sky limit. And then jump into that water. I was thinking, what am I doing right now? And then I was like, oh yeah, firstly you need to you know, get this tutorial open <laughs> and see what resources we're going to need. So let's see. Because, guys, although I. So let's see. Let me zoom this backwards. I'm going to need two lava? Why would I need lava? Okay, so hold on. Let me press play. Okay. Oh, it can get me some bones as well. Oh, I think it must kill all the mobs, guys. Because I think also blazes will probably swarm there. Because in the chest, it's showing some blaze rods, bones, leather caps, which I know a skeleton cannot wear. Well, I mean, a wither skeleton cannot wear. Oh, coal, bones, arrows, bows, all that sort of stuff, and some blaze rods as well. Alright, so let's see. So, we're going to need... Okay, let's get these resources ready. Oh, this is going to cost me a bit in my glass supply and all that, but whatever. Honestly, I do what I have to do for some farms. First, we're going to have to go harvest a bit of wood, though. Because I think I used up all the wood when I was going to trade with the villagers, wasn't I? Well, I mean, didn't I, I should say. That's the sentence. Where's my axe that I left? Guys, guys, I know I could use that, these here, but yeah, um, I'd rather save those. So let's go find our axe real quick and just get... Let's see, so we're going to need two chests, 29 ladders, four resin torches, four pistons, now guys, I'm naming the things that I know are going to need the wood supply. Four signs, a lever, a hopper, a rail, a minecart with hopper, and a torch, and also some other stuff of course, guys. Oh, also apparently we need a sunflower? I think we might have a sunflower somewhere. I hope we do. I'm just hoping though, guys. Like, honestly, here's hoping we've got a sunflower. Like, I think it can just be any flower. I'm not going to bother checking though. Let's try and find sunflower. Unless, of course, we've already got one. And then guys, we can go get some woods from some trees and we can try and get on with this. I mean, if Castle was online, I could just ask him to come into the world to help me out with carrying more resources over there. But yeah, um, I think the flowers are in one of these things here. Yep, but we don't have a sunflower. Let me quickly check if it is necessary for it to be just a sunflower. Hold on. Yeah, it's going to need a sunflower. Alright, let's also go hunt down a damn sunflower, shall we? 
Because guys, I know for sure I definitely do not have a sunflower in my chest. Because all the flowers, well, I'm pretty sure all the flowers I've ever gone have gone into that chest. I mean, maybe I might not put one or two of them in there, but I mean, I've definitely put more than half of them into there. So give me this. And now we need to go get some wood and some sunflowers. What biome are sunflowers in, guys? Like, are they just in the main flower biome, or like, can they be in any biome? Like, any biome that has flowers, or like, doesn't need a specific biome for sunflowers? Like, can I just use bone meal for it? Let's check what's in this. Man, that thing's been going for a while. Yeah, it's like, either way, it looks like we're gonna have to, guys, I'm going over here because I know there's a bit of a forest over there. But yeah, we're gonna need a sunflower, guys, because uh, he literally said sunflower. We'll pick up a few sunflowers, just to be sure, though, guys, because you never know, maybe I might misplace it on accident. Like, as in, like, you know, if I was down in the wrong area, I didn't have to pick it back up, and it might accidentally fall in the lava randomly. Because, guys, I'm, as you saw, I'm gonna be above a lava lake, for God's sake. I mean, this guy does it in creative mode, so he doesn't have to worry about losing the items. I do, though. Do the do. I don't know what the hell that meme even is, though. I just hear it sometimes. It's just like, I do, and then it's like just Mountain Dew drink randomly. Let's just grab like a whole stack of birch wood if it can, because that way around we can have more wood for the future. I don't even know what I'm going to do with this area here, guys, to be fair. Like, I'm probably not even going to use it for anything at all. Because, like, the distance I am from my base and all that, well... Well, I'm not too far away from it, but I mean, you know, like, if, if I built anything here, like, I doubt it would be effective, because, I mean, I guess I could try and build an iron farm here. Or the village over here somewhere. Yeah, so I'm gonna keep my eye out for a sunflower. Oh, which also is a very good song, I won't lie. Because, guys, sunflower is a song as well. Yeah, in case you don't know. Honestly, very good song. Oh, wait, actually, doesn't this guy also sometimes sell sunflowers? I'm pretty sure he sometimes also sells sunflowers, right? Or am I just thinking things? Because I'm pretty sure I remember sometimes he has sold me sunflowers. I could be just tripping though. Alright, there we are. Alright, now let's go find a sunflower. <sighs> this is probably going to be the annoying part. Hold on. Let me actually check. So I know exactly where to find sunflowers. I'm just gonna search up. Where to find sunflowers in Minecraft? Sunflower plains biome, which is quite rare. So okay, so we're gonna have to locate a biome, which is apparently quite rare. Uh, this is going to be lovely. That's why I might just end the stream and wait until I find the biome so then I can restart the stream then. But I've already restarted the stream once, I'm not restarting it again. Oh Christ, that guy's got a trident. I just saw that one of them literally had a trident. Also apparently villagers can spawn in this Sunfowl Plains biome. I'll probably pick up as many sunflowers as I can then, guys, if I find this biome. Because if I find this biome, I would be very happy. Actually, you know what? Let's use a biome finder. Ugh, give me a second. Um, hold on. Get me out of this thing. And let me just find the uh, biome finder so I can try and find the sunflower biome that's closest to me. And then I'll pick up as many sunflowers as I can. Bedrock 1.20 Um, highlight Um Let me slowly scroll down and see if I can find it mm, Did he 
deep ocean, stony shore, birch forest, birch hills, dark forest, no day. Some file planes, found it. There we are. Okay, so let's just put in our X and Z coordinates. Three seven nine and one one eight and go. Alright. Looks like I'm gonna have to be traveling for a while, I'm guessing, because I don't see any close by to me. Okay, let's see where I'm gonna have to go. Ah, <sighs> this is probably gonna be a long journey. I can already tell you guys this is going to be a long journey, okay? Yep! It's going to be a well long journey. Remind me to hate everything about this in a minute, guys. Let me tell you, let me write the coordinates in for you guys, actually, so you know what coordinates I'm going to have to go to. Now, some of you might not consider this too much distance, and I guess it's not too much, but here's where I have to go. So let's just put in our own coordinates, 379118, so we know where to go back to. There we go, so minus 1444, four, four, and then the other one. So this way, and that way. Okay. Let's see, let me grab my boat as well, so if I have to go across the ocean. Did my phone just vibrate? I think that was just my imagination, because I could have just heard my phone vibrate, but then my watch would have also gotten a notification at the same time. By the way, let's just quickly do what we need to do. Grab my boat, and I guess we'll grab some wheat and a crafting table as well and then we'll just head to the sunflower biome as fast as possible grab the sunflowers get back here I still do not understand why there was a tree leaf floating in the middle of the damn air like I swear to god that thing literally has the bit to never break apparently I'm just checking in case Casper happens to have any in his chest I doubt he does but let's just quickly check because guys honestly but yeah guys, I'm guessing sunflowers must be like the most hard to find flowers possible, I'm guessing. Like, I, I mean, I really don't know, guys, okay? I don't know too much about Minecraft. I know a bit of stuff about it, but not everything, of course. So, firstly, let me find my boat. I'll, I'll grab these hay bales here. Now, where's my boat? I'll bring my crafting table with me, of course. Now, guys, those skeleton schools were from when I was in the ancient city as well, with Casper World. That's what wasn't that way. Hold on. Okay, we have two little skulls. I was just checking just to know how many I had. Let's bring all this stuff with us. Just in case Casper loads up into the world and, you know. I mean, I wouldn't say he would try to steal stuff, but still. Just in case. You never know. Wait, so minus one, four, 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 and then minus one, two, eight. Okay, so. Yeah, we're gonna be on a bit of a journey. You bees there, behave. And that was not a bee pun, guys, okay? I was just saying behave. Like, so you guys were like, no, you meant it as a pun, as in, like, behave. Like, guys, no, I did not mean it like that, okay? So I don't know, I feel like I'm making so many puns today randomly. Whatever, like, I'm not even trying to say a pun. I also remember in like the previous Minecraft world until Castle of course turned up to creative mode when we were apparently getting on each other's nerves and then like I had to delete that world. Casper did make a bit of a secret base somewhere but I managed to find it one day when I was just randomly journeying around. But yeah, let's, let's just go find this biome, grab as many stun files as possible, get back to base and then just do everything else. Weird how I've been streaming for 24 minutes and I haven't even built, started building the farm. But guys, hey, I can't exactly build the farm straight away, can I? Oh man, I still remember that tree when I was just trying to grab my crafting table randomly. But yeah, 
let's just get to this farm already and then get back to base and just quickly get everything else we need to make this farm with and then yeah the faster we make this farm the faster it's out of the way the faster we can get I mean technically this farm could also help me not have to worry too much about the um having to constantly kill blazes situation so I wouldn't have to make a blaze farm and also technically it could stop me having to make a skeleton farm as well because I mean as soon as a few skeletons will randomly die Forest, mm, nice. But yeah, as the moment we find this sunflower, I'm, I'm gonna grab literally every sunflower I see in sight. Like, no, no, every sunflower I see, I'm grabbing it. Why the sticks here? I'm guessing I must have left them here once when I journeyed here. Alright, we need to not do that too often because otherwise, those corners are gonna be straight off our screen in the chat, so we don't need them to disappear. So let's just um, get a bit more distance and weird how this is how it feels in the real world right now. Like it's literally pretty much night time and yet it's not even dark. I know guys, like it could be like 8 o'clock at night at any time and literally it doesn't even look even that dark. Like it's not, it's literally just going dark at the time. Um, let's just um, go down here. Oh, I guess this trip wasn't going to be as long as I felt it would have been. Like, there better not be a drone with a tram beneath me. So I'm just going to move left and right randomly to make sure that there wasn't one. So then that way they could try to his tram. He'd probably miss. Hopefully. Unless they're like skeletons and literally don't miss. Because there's yeah, literally no drone. A skeleton pretty much doesn't miss. I mean, I remember one world, uh, which was a little um, sort of map that me and Castle playing. I tried jumping on a skeleton from the island that I was on, and it hit me straight up the air, and I fell straight into the void that was in that world. Like, it was like a sky, I think it was like cobblestone sky block or something. And, like, yeah, like it literally shot me straight away when I was mid air. I was like, bro. Like, skeletons pretty much don't miss. The only way they'll miss is if they hit a shield, but technically that's not them missing. Just don't give a skeleton an, inc an incredibly powerful bow, because otherwise, oh god, yeah, you're probably screwed. Especially if you're just on hard difficulty with no armor. Like if you're on just maxed out hard difficulty with no armor on, and you give a skeleton the most powerful bow possible, oh yeah, you're dead. So we need to go more in that direction. Wait, hold on a second again. So it should be just over this hill somewhere. I'll be happy once we find it, then we can just head straight back to base. Oh, I see the sunflowers from here. Oh wait, oh, it's this village. <laughs> what items did I drop over here? I dropped some copper, alright. That copper can stay in the water, I don't really care. Let's just do that. Now let's go grab some sunflowers. Yeah, it's apparently according to one around mine. There is no shortage of sunflowers in this biome. And I can already tell that much from this place here. Yeah. So let's grab literally as many sunflowers as we can, because I mean I just want to, okay guys, yeah, that's why. In case you're wondering. Because I mean, you know, might as well make sure we've got more sunflowers for the future. Just like oh my god, there actually is a ton of sunflowers in the biome. Is that a glue up there or is that just some random ice on the side of the mountain? But yeah, so we'll just grab as many of these as we can. After we grab them, after we get back to base. Okay, no, I could just grab one of them, but yeah, whatever. I'll probably bring like three of them with me to the nether, just to be sure. So 
Cause guys, like I said, I just don't want to risk like the flower randomly falling into the lava and then just straight away, you know. Maybe I might even put the world just to easy difficulty to begin with when I'm, you know, um, making this farm, like waiting for to find out the spawning locations of everything. So then that way, straight away, when I've done that, like that way, like I'll also make sure that that way, um, like because otherwise, guys, I'll probably just like you know, get um massively annoyed in the back by loads of mobs when waiting for them to spawn in the glass and having to break all of it and all that. So yeah, I'll probably bring some gold armor with me if I have to, just to be safe. So guys, like for the slabs part of it as well, I'll probably just like after I've gotten the main resource I'm going to need, I'll just. Fill up my inventory with like just the main other stuff, like just simply, you know, just gold armor, um, just and a load of blocks. So then that way I'm ready. Like I also fill up with my tools and all that, of course, guys. I'll probably just bring my, I guess I'll just bring my silk touch pickaxe with me, because honestly. I feel like that's going to be the main thing I'll need in there, because in case I need to break glass and I need to keep the glass for later. Oh, I will, but you never know. Better safe than sorry. Because guys, that way I can save a bit of space in my inventory. Like, it's only going to be like one whole block of space in my inventory, but yeah, honestly, even one block of space is enough for me. That cow scared me. So you guys were like, how do you get jump scared by some cows mooing half the time? I don't know myself to be fair guys. But guys, I know that I've definitely got the resources for this as well. So don't worry about that. Uh, so we just need to grab just, you know, like everything else we'll need. Like we just need to grab the stuff from our chest. And then after that we have everything we need. But guys, also if you still think that yes, my Oh my god, there really is no shortage of sunflowers. Uh, you know what, let's just get a whole second stack of flowers for now. And then in the third stack, we'll just give ourselves three of them. And then, right after that, we'll head straight back. I just wanted to make sure I've got a lot of sunflowers, guys. Just for the future, you know? Because you never know when I might need them for another farm. I know I'm not going to need like a stack of flowers and all. It's just, you know... Just to make sure, guys. Just as a precaution. Don't know why, but <laughs> I just feel like it, okay? I could also try and make a wither rose farm as well, so if I spawn up the wither. But having to organize the chest is going to be annoying, because I would prefer it to just simply be just a wither skeleton farm. Like, no other mobs like are going to be in it, but. Then again, I guess that's impossible when you're in a nether fortress because, you know, you can't exactly do that. Like, the only way you can get guaranteed wither skeletons is right after you kill the wither itself. Because three wither skeletons will spawn right after he's dead. Alright, let's get back to base. Uh, 379, 118, let's get going. And then one we're back there. Yeah, we'll have other stuff that we're going to need. This is just gonna take a while, but whatever. Why am I sound like I'm out of breath? I'm literally walking in Minecraft. I don't sound like I'm out of breath. What's wrong with me? Hold on a second. Let me check something real quick, guys. I want to test the theory of something. Because usually I would find these things, for, and like when I found these sort of things, like they would be like having those suspicious blocks around them. Let's see if the suspicious blocks can spawn in places you've already explored.
They definitely cannot. I mean, I suspect it as much, to be fair, guys. Because, like, otherwise, it will be just so easy, because then you can go to the locations you've already explored. So, yeah, if you want to, um, you know, find any suspicious sand or gravel, then you've got to go to a new biome altogether. That's just... Hurry if I get back to base. What time is it? Ten past four. Casual story online, but whatever. Dolphin! Hold on. Ah, oh, look at them. They're so cute. I don't know if I've already mentioned this before, guys, but I've actually managed to pet a dolphin in the real world. And they feel so... Like, I don't know how to describe it. Kind of robbery in a way, I guess. Like, I, I, I really don't know how to describe it, okay? Like, if you ever touch a dolphin, though, guys, that sounds weird. You know what I mean, guys? Like, if you ever managed to like be at like one of those sea life sort of things, and like they allow you to just have a picture with a dolphin where you've got your hand on it and all, then yeah, you'll know what I mean. But like the rubbery sort of thing, like I, I really don't know how you can describe the how it feels, like how the skin of a dolphin feels. Let's try and go around this because I do not want to go through it. Don't have any blocks to build with anyway. But honestly, yeah, that's just. <sighs> get back to base, grab what we need, and just get back into the nether. Turn it to the difficulty first though before we go into it. And uh, so we don't have to deal with mobs when we're in there. Get to the nerf fortress and build this damn farm. Ow. I guess I won't really have to bring my food with me now I think about it. Because if I'm going to be doing it in peaceful difficulty, my health can auto regen itself. So, I guess I won't have to bring food with me. And I'm definitely not going to bring the map with me. I'll most just bring a sword with me, really. Oh, wait, yeah, technically, actually, no, I will need to bring my food with me. Because, well, put simply, of course, well, you know, I'm going to have to be there in hard difficulty for them to actually spawn up and die. I know it's a bit of a distance from the portal, guys, I know, but hey, I really don't care how far away that thing is from the portal. I'll still decide to go to it, because might as well get some stuff out of this. I'm going to have to, really. The only annoying part of any new update though is when it has a new biome and that is you have to find the new biome. Because like, and let's say you've explored so many blocks in every direction as guys, like if it has a new biome, basically you have to explore new chunks that you haven't already explored in the world. So basically, yeah. Um, put simply, yeah, like if, like let's say you've explored like millions upon millions of blocks in every direction in your world. Well, not millions of course, because if you've traveled a million blocks in your world, then you're a crazy person. But like you know what I mean. Like if you try like a really large amount of blocks in your world, then and then a new update comes out and you need a new biome. Well, yeah, that's gonna take a while to find that new biome. Especially me, because I don't remember how many blocks I've gone in every direction. And I usually just travel in a straight line. To be fair. By the way, let's get back to our base and. Let's get the resources we need. <sighs> if I had the ability to, I would play Magic Man background, but yeah, I can't be bothered because 
And also, I'll get copyrighted for it if I did. But yeah, I'll bring my silk touch pickaxe with me. It would be so much more easy if Casper was in this world right now with me. But I know that he's also on his way back to the base in um, this world, guys. So, technically, it wouldn't really help out too much. Seeing it's like, you know, I'd have to wait for him to get back here. But he could help me carry additional resources, really. Yeah, and that would help me out a lot. Um, we'll put that into there. We'll just put our stuff into any random chest we have, guys. There we go. Alright. So, firstly, let me just um, get the video back open. <sighs> please confirm, markets and please confirm and see from whatever the hell that is. Yeah, um, <laughs> guys, it's just a random email. I keep getting for like, please confirm payment of jack shit. Because <laughs> I have not put jack shit through as a payment for anyone. I think it's just like one of those scam things. So we need two chests. Um, let's just go put these into here. Two chests. Fucking hell. Um, four redstone torches. Four observers and four pistons. Let's take a look in our chest for those. Four redstone torches, four observers, four pistons. Let's at least take a look at our chest first, guys, because I don't want to, you know, grab some. Like, I mean, craft them and then find out later. Oh, I already have them on my chest. That's going to be super annoying. <sighs> so, what did I say again? Four torches. Well, of course, resistant torches and whatever. Oh. That's right, I haven't even had any drinks today, besides, of course, the drink I usually have with my breakfast. I really don't think we have resistant torches anywhere. The only chance of resistant torches will be in Casper's chest. But I doubt he will have any either. And of course, he doesn't. Alright, well, seems like I've got a lot of wood, I can make some sticks. Um, we don't have any redstone in any of these chests though, so, uh, guys, I'm saying that goes well, you know, we need, um, redstone for the, um, the observers and pistons, so. Let's grab this. Uh, yeah, okay, and we can use the, um, deep slate for the blocks we'll need, because we've definitely got more than enough deep slate. I think we should at least. If we don't, that's well my life. Okay, stomach, I get it. You want some food in you. Honestly, I'll probably be doing tea soon or later anyway. In case we had anything in there that we could use. Uh, there we go. So we need four resident torches, so we just do this and boom. Four um, pistons and four observers. We need quartz for that. And I think the only place we got some quartz is back in the other chest. This is going to take a while. How long have we been for now at this point? 45 minutes. Jesus bloody Christ. Let's just <sighs> put the torches in there. 
was it on? Okay, again. Oh, yeah, some cords. I was just checking my chest to see if I had whatever resources that I needed at that point. And then, yeah. Uh, mm. Yes, yeah, so hopefully this farm will work, and then that way, you know, we can use it for a lot of stuff. So, uh, I'll never mind myself what chest I have most of the. Oh, I think I know what chest I have the quartz in now. It's that chest over there, but let's just check every other chest just in case we put some of it in one of these. Why can't the first dad just open the door? When did he even go outside? No, I don't know. I just heard him open and close the door downstairs as if he had just gone outside, but. I didn't even hear him go outside. Didn't even hear the door downstairs open. What the? What on earth? I swear down, that guy, can, he can go through walls or something. And that's not a joke. I swear down, he goes through walls. Because he just doesn't even seem to... Like, one minute he's in the house, next minute it's like, boom, he's outside the house. It's like, how did you even get out there in the first place? So hot, we need four p uh, of these observers. Of course, one of these things. What was I using for these just then? Because I stayed at seven. Oh, it's because I have seven iron. Four observers, four pistons, one lever. Well done. Uh, we do that real quick. Let me just. Um, okay, hold on. One hopper, one rail, one mangot with hopper. We definitely do not have hoppers anyway, I know that much, guys, but I know I've got some rails in one of the chests, so I can look for that. If this game can let me sleep, I need to make sure I don't just set up too hard because otherwise, you know. So, hop, so that's it. Mm -hmm. uh, that's just, I mean, I could just break some of the chests in the bottom part of my base, but mm, nah. I hate doing that. Let's just put this diamond here. Yes, guys, I've got a lot of diamonds there, I know. Just don't worry about it. Um, what was I just about to look for? Oh, yeah, iron. Um, let's just grab three iron blocks for now. Actually, well, we'll grab five instead. Quickly do this and do that. So, yeah, it's going to need two chests in total. Do that. Um, do that. Oh, wait, I just remembered when I was making that bamboo farm thing, uh, I had, there was actually a lava like over there, but I turned into obsidian and mined the whole thing. one rail but let's just grab two just in case um let's see one trident uh let's grab the one fire your ability just in case we accidentally chuck it somewhere else um two lava buckets this is gonna be the annoying part all right actually i think i know where i can solve this annoying part because if you remember guys when i was running out the mining system earlier, actually wait that wasn't the stream i did earlier Oh okay, guys, when I was running out of the mining system in the stream that I did just before this, before I just ended it so I could find the best in, well, I mean, not best in the um, other thing. Well, I ran past quite a bit of lava, so hopefully it'll still be there. 
Well, <laughs> hopefully it'll still be there, it's a bit of a weird sign, because obviously it's still going to be there. Where else is it going to go? Also, there's a lot of in this fish farm that I'm not really going to be able to use anymore. Because, guys, if you're wondering why I cannot use it, well, if I ever have my fish rod in, my hand... Look at this. I can only ever go into this edit mode no matter what. So, this farm no longer serves a purpose. So I guess I should just break it apart, but can't be bothered doing that, really. I'll probably do that in the future, though. Just can't be bothered doing it yet. Yeah? Alright. Okay. No. No? Huh? Hey. Yeah. It's not good. You've got to have something in between. I know. Mark, I'm talking. That's why I'm getting concerned. Uh -huh. You're not eating correctly now. You've gone the opposite now. Uh. What? If you press that button one more time, I'm going to go fucking mad. Right. Why aren't you eating the dinner? Why aren't you having dinner? Some days when I do still have it. It's just some days where I just don't feel like it half the time. But you've got to eat. Yeah, I know. You're going to make yourself ill if you don't eat properly, mate. And we don't even get any fruit anymore. If you want me to buy fruit, I will. Why? I mean, you don't even eat banana or a, for my apples. You don't eat them. You're not eating anything good. I know I don't always buy good stuff, but if you want me to, I will. But you have to come with me and tell me what you want. But you were up before me, and I've had dinner. I had a sandwich about 12 o'clock. It's nearly, what, it's ten, quarter past four now, isn't it? Mm, something like that. You haven't eaten for nearly six, seven hours. Why are you doing this? You doing it on purpose? Because you don't, in case you don't start feeling sick. No. That's what it seems. That's what it seems to me. Come on, you got to talk. I know you said no. Something's not. Something's not right with you. You're acting strange. This is a, this has taken over your life. You really need to sort yourself. Head into the nether, grab some lava, head back to the other world. Let's see if we can find some lava around here. We probably will be able to somewhere. Yeah, as I guess the name of it did say there goes my fossil. That's the usual complaint of the day, because I swear down if there's if he doesn't complain about one thing during the day, it ain't like him. He'll usually find something to complain about, like whether it's just not me eating enough and all that sort of stuff. I swear that he says there's something not right with me, like, yeah, honestly, something not right with you either, really. 
I was just going to get the answer just because I'm not eating something during the day doesn't mean that I'm not going to eat like honestly like there have been days where I've done that multiple times in the past and he has not said a thing about it and yet now he's saying something about it like seriously stop thinking it's always something else like, Jesus Christ it's getting not like it's starting to really get on my nerves guys I lost that. Yes, fine. He worries about me. I can understand that. But still, it doesn't mean you need to always think something's wrong. Like, Jesus Christ. It really gets on my nerves. It's like, seriously, oh yeah, is there something wrong with you? Like, honestly, you're feeling alright? Are you trying to stop yourself from feeling sick and all that? It's like, seriously, shut up! Like, I am so, like, determined to just one day turn around and say those exact words to him, but. I resist the urge to. Even though I really want to say those words to him, because honestly, I'm just don't get fed up with him constantly saying those things. But I know that if I did say those words, he'd probably destroy my Xbox. I have him destroy the Xbox. So, yeah. No, I really didn't want to just say those words straight to him, guys. But I'm resisting that. Actually, what does that look like? There's, like, there's a new free pickaxe you can get for just playing Fortnite on something called Amazon Luna, which is a streaming service. But like, I tried making an Amazon, an Amazon Prime account on my laptop, but it didn't work because I think I might just said the wrong thing. But I'll see if it works on his. This maybe it might work because I know he's got an Amazon account, but I don't know if he has Amazon Prime because you have to have Amazon Prime for it, guys. But still, we'll, we'll see. Because, guys, I know signing credentials for his laptop after all. I'm not, of course, going to mess around with his laptop or anything, guys. I'm just simply going to do one thing, which is just check if it still if it does work in this region. Because, guys, when I tried doing it on my laptop, it said it does not work in this region. So you have to be in like Central UK or whatever. Yeah, guys, um, uh, I, it's literally, like I said, just a free pickaxe in Fortnite, but honestly, in my opinion, the pickaxe looks really cool, and if I have the ability to, I really want to be able to get it. Because, honestly, it does look quite cool, but I think, as far as I remember from Fire Monkey saying on his YouTube video, like, all you gotta do is just simply, um, play Fortnite on it, that Luma, or Luna, whatever it's called, thing from Amazon for a bit, and... Like, I don't know how long you have to play it for, but, like, I think you just have to play it for, like, a few minutes or so, and then, yeah, you'll get your, um, thing put into your account sooner or later, because it won't be immediately put into the account, it'll take a while, but, yeah. Weird how, like, in the UK, I swear down, like, why is, like, always, with Fortnite, they all, they do give out some free rewards, but for some people, like, they don't get that access to it. Like, and I swear down, PlayStation players, like, they get their starter bundles so often as well in Fortnite for literally nothing at all. Like, they don't have to pay money for it. And yet, us Xbox players, uh, yeah, um, where's our starter bundles, huh? Like, PlayStation gets a starter bundle, like, every single season that's completely free of charge. And yet, us down Xbox players, we don't get nothing for it. Like, we literally could give them all the money in the world. They're like... Yeah, now nah, we're just gonna let PlayStation have all the stuff. I mean, yes, we have our like starter bundles, but you have to buy that with an Xbox. You can't just get a free skin just like that. Like honestly, PlayStation, like PlayStation and PC players just get all the benefits. Us Xbox and players are just left out. Well, we're not completely left out. Like we do still get those star pack skins, but you still gotta spend money for them, which I think is just not okay, really. Like, come on, Fortnite, please just at least give some Xbox players some benefit. Because otherwise, like, I mean, like, the last thing I remember being able to get for free on Xbox was the Dazzle Daggers pickaxe, which is all you, and all you had to do was just play Fortnite on Xbox Cloud Gaming. And it was that simple. Besides that, yeah, everything else has been free that I've seen in the item shop has only you, like, and I swear down, like, PC players, they get literally, like, everything for free. Like, no joke, like, if you've seen some videos, guys, you know that, like, PC players, oh, apparently Fortnite wants to give them everything for free. Like that um tectonic complex skin bundle, like yeah, um that was completely free for them and they got it earlier than most people. But yet then it came to the store like what, like weeks, months later? It's like come on Fortnite, seriously.
Like, why are you gonna give PC players all the benefits? I swear down, give us Xbox players at least a benefit of something. Because otherwise, I feel like Xbox just doesn't get enough stuff. Like, honestly, okay, we need four signs now. I know that one of the chests definitely has some signs in it. But let's make some birch signs. But yeah, no joke, guys, like, honestly, like, check all the free rewards on Fortnite. Like, and I mean full on free rewards, because, guys, like, the. Like, don't get me wrong, like, some starter packs that you can get for the Xbox and that, fine. Like, I guess you class that as free. But you're not really getting it for free, guys. You're buying that with the Xbox. So you're having to spend, like, about God knows how much money on an Xbox to get that starter bundle. So technically, you're not getting jack shit out of it. Okay, we need a stack in 26, um, glass panes. So, let's make just a stack and a half, just in case we need more. But no joke, guys, like, check all the free stuff that's been in Fortnite for, for like, everyone. And then, check what the free stuff was for Xbox itself. Like, go on. Like, I bet you anything, Xbox has hardly had any free stuff in Fortnite. That, like, which means, like, free stuff that, you know, of course, well, everyone else hasn't had. Because, honestly, like, what stuff do we get out of it, hmm? Like, come on, Fortnite, at least give us something. Okay, now we need 29 ladders, then, like, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, well, 6 and a half stacks of blocks, and loads of slabs. I'll just pile my inventory high with loads and loads of slabs. Just as many slabs as I can. Well, I won't put the slabs into my inventory instantly, guys. I'll just keep them as the blocks, and I'll bring a crafting table with me to craft them in slabs later. So, hold on, so, I'm just checking over here, guys, in case I have ladders in one of the chests, because I feel like I do have some ladders in one of these chests somewhere. I mean, I'm probably going crazy, though. You know what? We'll just, yeah, we'll just craft them, I don't care. So, 29 ladders, and then we'll just grab loads and loads of blocks, and then we'll just, you know... Get going into the nether, get to the nether fortress, and do what we need to do. But no joke, guys, I swear down, like, what is it with Fortnite having something against Xbox, apparently? Like, I mean, we hardly get any free stuff on Xbox in Fortnite. Like, we get some free stuff, don't get me wrong. But, like, honestly, it's just not as often as others get it. Like, the others get it so often. Us Xbox players, yeah, what are we stuck with? Hardly any free stuff. Whereas, like, I literally see, like, God knows how many PC and, um, Nintendo Switches. Well, not really Nintendo Switches, I guess, because I don't really see Nintendo Switch players getting much free stuff. But they get a bit of free stuff. Like, yeah. Like, whenever I usually see free stuff in the item shop, guys, it's free for literally everyone. Like, I never really see free stuff in the item shop for literally just simply damn Xbox players. Like... Come on, Fortnite, please, just give us Xbox players something for free. Guys, I'm just putting this into this chest right now, because I can't be bothered carrying it around with me. So we'll get this out of the inventory. Um, we're not going to need a clock, we're not going to need this. Yeah, I'm copying the drown there, guys, in case you can't tell. Dude sounds like he's having a heart attack. So let's just kind of put these lads in the chest, then we'll get going for the nether. I need to pick up some more blocks though in my inventory now that I think about it. So don't worry, we've got the end chest in our inventory guys. But yeah, we're going to have to pick up like maybe some blocks, but yeah, we'll pick, we'll put the main blocks in the, in the chest. Because guys, like for the first three rows of this chest I see on his screen, like yeah, the block on the bottom right corner of it, like as in like what, where the bottom right corner is just a one block chest would be instead of a large chest, yeah, um, put simply, yeah, the one that would be at the bottom right would be empty through the chest, so, yeah, um, let's place our bed, and, um, we'll place our ender chest, oh wait, we still need to put the ladders in there, <laughs> and now let's grab loads and loads of blocks. Like we'll grab as many blocks as we can here guys. 
I'll probably use the netherrack for, um, you know, building cross to places. Um, where did I put the end chest? Oh, there it is. Alright, so, yeah, we're going to need, um, where's the crafting table that I remember us having one of these chests? I suppose I'm one of these chests had a crafting table, right? Or was I just... Oh, am I forgetting its location? I put it in. You know what? Hold on. There we go. So, we can fit some more blocks in our inventory, but let's see if we have any more deep slate to begin with. We've got five deep slate here. Guys, we'll turn this deep slate that we currently have in our inventory into, um, well, you know, what we need to for this farm. Slabs. Uh, okay, there we go. We've got the blocks we're going to need. Oh, wait, we need to get rid of one stack as well, though, because otherwise we literally cannot hold our ender chest. You know, let's get rid of the cobble deep slate. Pick up our ender chest. Let's turn this world to peaceful difficulty. And let's hop into the nether and get over to where we need to go. So, hold on, where do we need to go again? Let me just write in the main court. Oh, for fuck's sake. I think it was like minus 8, 7, 8, and then something else. You know what? I'll just write in some random things that I think it was around. I don't remember what the corners were, guys, but I know it was something around here, okay? So, let's go over to those coordinates specifically, and we'll probably see the nether fortress nearby. Well, hopefully. I'm hoping we will. I've got to bring gold arm with me so that if a piglin sees me, it won't attack me. Ah well, whatever. We can work without it. So firstly, we need to quickly put all of these into here. But honestly, I won't lie about it, man. If I start to turn, my gaming has taken over my life, he's got a point. It has taken over my life. But honestly, hey, I'm not the main cause of it as well, though. Like, we're both, to, we're both to blame for it. Not just me. I can't be blamed for it. But honestly, like, if he just said I'm the main one to blame for it, well, he'd be lying about that. Oh, wait, so hold on. Oh, it's in this direction and that direction. I hope I go to the correct one. Otherwise, I might just wrote down some random as hell coordinates. <laughs> wow, that actually looked kinda cool, I'm not gonna lie about that. But yeah, so even though we've got silk touch on pick so that means we can't actually repair it, I don't really care. Honestly, I'll probably have to pick up the glass anyway, and I want to make sure I can actually pick the thing up. Um, let's just mine through this. After all, guys, if this farm can get me XP, well, honestly, it can repair my pickaxe. This won't be the pathway I'll mostly use, guys, for getting there if I ever go back there. It'll just be a pathway I'm gonna make to get there for now. <laughs> Imagine how many pathways are gonna be around the nether that I've made uh, by the time, like, I actually hopefully turn this into a realm. Oh my god, there's gonna be like a million of them. And it'll be like, dude, you can't go anywhere without seeing a pathway that I created. I could also kill some mobs around the area and just gain XP from them real quick for the um, the pickaxes, guys. In case you don't know, like I can quickly swap straight to my um, pickaxe when the XP drops from the mob. So then that way, you know, it's like look. Hopefully, if this guy drops me XP, hey, look, uh -huh. I do this. Oi, that's your mate's gold sword. Why? Bloody hell, okay, that one was his fault. He died to the fall. Not to me. That guy actually died to a fall. But that last guy legit died to falling though. Like you witnessed that guy's like other guy, like you heard him, right? Like he literally died to a fall. I didn't even hit him. 
<laughs> Where does the boy go? How would it go that way? Oh, there guys, see? My pickaxe is repaired. Now let's just re-repair my sword. There we go. And let's get to the fortress already. Get this flipping farm made. I'm not going to create a portal that... Oh, wow. <laughs> we found a nether fortress that was the nether fortress that I was thinking of using, but... Yeah, uh, guys, look how many slabs I'd probably need to use to cover up the area. Because, guys, I know that the slabs would be used to cover up the area to make sure that the mob spawns would stay within, like, the, um, the nether fortress farm itself. Imagine you could use Silk Touch to pick up a mob spawner. That would just be overpowered, though. Me and Casper have already been through here. Oh, that might have just been me earlier who placed that block. But it's probably Casper and me together. Because, if I'm not mistaken, around here somewhere, if I remember correctly, um, okay, yep, right down here, you can see, yeah, this was definitely me and Casper going around the edge of the- Whoa! Island. I nearly flew straight into the bloody lava there. Okay, and we definitely went down here, we jumped across here! We had to headbutt something, and if that happened to you in the roll, guys, that would definitely hurt. I'm glad, like, headbutting things doesn't have to hurt in Minecraft, because, trust me, if you headbutted this, like, if you did this in the real world, yeah, I think you'd have a major dent in your head. Because you wouldn't have armor in the real world like that, and got, unless you were an army troop. So, guys, basically, you do that in the real world, I think you're dead. I think you've just literally put a major dent straight in your face. Huh. Oh, we're back here again. Um, Which way did we go from? I could try and parkour across this lava lake. Yeah, you know what, let's try that. Huh. Ow. Huh. Huh. Um, yeah, we can't parkour anywhere from here. Unless we somehow have the ability of levitation, we can jump to there. So guys, let's just get to the nether fortress already. And that way... Oh, wait, I forgot to write in the coordinates back home. Ah, well, I think I remember the general coordinates vicinity. If I don't, anyway, I can just literally remind myself by simply looking at a stream where I was at my portal. Because that's simple, really, guys, for me to locate my portal. I'd have to look at a stream I did when I was, uh, and if I was in the nether, which I usually use the mining for resources for a nether base in Minecraft. I usually use that one because I was in the nether quite often in that one. And I don't want to have to go through multiple of my streams trying to find my own base. Well, not base, like my home portal. Also, earlier, guys, I think like if it was in this stream or the other stream that I was doing earlier for this one. Um, also found the portal that goes straight to um, where the end portal is. Because guys, yes, I made a portal that goes there, okay? Because honestly, I wanted to fast travel there because I think it was like quite a few blocks away. Wow, I was like an inch away from falling into that lava there. Yeah, I think it's just in this direction now. What the hell were we building here? Why do I get to feel I'm actually at the... Wait a minute. Am I already here? I'm already here. Okay. Well, I think I'm here. Hopefully. Yep, I'm here. I'm... Well, I'm... Well, I'm pretty much where I need to be, okay? It's not like the perfect thing for it guys because like he did just say lava lake but I mean hey if there's those things in the lava lake I don't think it matters too much after all I can go down there and break them gotta be careful though so yeah let's get to the section we need and let's get on with this tutorial already so we need this section over here guys because I think that this is like a basic mob spawn location sort of thing so like, although it's not like the perfect thing we need it will do. It will do. So, hold on one second. 
Yeah, 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 skip, skip. Solid block, glass pane on top of it, then break the glass block, so I hope it's one of these things that he means, or it could be one of those over there. But I don't think it really matters too much which side it's on. But I think I'll choose this side because there's less blocks in the area. So, hold on one second. Um, give me this, do that, give me that, and give me this rest. So I don't think it matters where the block is placed guys, but place on the right hand side of the place just in case. So um let's place the here. Place the pane. Do that. Place two glass panes on the left hand side. So like you know it covers up the bridge. Oh hold on. Oh let's just move it one block forward. So then that way you know it's connected on both sides here. And now we just need to move it over on the right hand side. Wait a minute. 29 glass panes, speaking of which I've got 29 here. Let's just hope this is 29 blocks, but it looks like it should be, hopefully. Oops. Oh, I feel like we... Let's just hope this works. Let's just hope this works. Like, because honestly, I don't know if this is going to work, but let's just hope it will. Please work. Place 29 glass panes at both of the other spots, like so both of these things here, guys. We just have to hope this will work. Okay, let's get rid of this mushroom. Yeet! And this mushroom. Yeet! Why does it place itself behind me? Okay, and now let me guess, I have to put it to, you know, in the difficulty that it needs to be on. Find the whiskers. Spot. Spot. One of the pillars of the glass panes are near, oh, hold on. Okay, yeah, this will definitely work, so, yeah, 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 okay, this should hopefully, wait, wait, hold on, is there multiple glass, ga pill, pill, oh, the pillars that we need, yeah, let's use this pillar here, because I think this should work. Alright. So go to one of these things and dig down 27 blocks. So hold on, let me see where I am because I can't really see from this silk touch pick I think. Um, okay, let's mine down this block by 27 blocks. So do not fall into the other. Two. How far down can we go? Okay, we can definitely go down far enough. Three. Let's just make sure that in case anything happens, we've got the blocks ready place. Yeah, this should be 27 blocks, hopefully. Yep, there we go. Hello. Place the ladders to go straight back up. 
Okay, we need our ladders, man. Um, let's get rid of some of the nether that we've got for the chest. Do not fall into lava, I swear to god. If that fell into lava, I swear on my days. Wait, so it takes 26 lads to get all the way up? Hold on. Okay, oh, that is 26. I was saying like 27 blocks, then, like, what about the other one then? Come on. Come on! Come on, you fucking bitch! It probably won't matter if you misplace a ladder, by the way, guys. <sighs> Here comes slab time, guys! This is gonna be so fucking fun. I'm gonna love doing this. Kill me. Please tell me I do not need those blocks. I'm gonna not bother with those blocks, by the way, guys. Because I just don't feel like they're gonna be necessary. But I'm gonna have to place slabs on, like, every other block, so this is gonna get annoying. I don't know if I have to place them onto... You know, these blocks here, but like as in, like, you know, the sections on the outside, but oh god, this is gonna get annoying. Alright, let's get on with it. Let's see if we have to place them on, like, these blocks here. Let's see if he places them on it. Yeah, okay, they go on the walls as well. So, just everywhere that's within apparently 50 blocks of this spot. I'm not gonna bother with the blocks that are like in the lava guys because I don't think they're gonna spawn there. Like I'm just gonna place them as long as they're just like you know in the surrounding area like if then like as, so we need it to be within 50 blocks but like I'm just gonna mostly put them like as long as they're in the nether fortress because I don't want to go around the whole location guys. Because, like, 50 blocks, I mean, come on. Like, I'm going to have to go over there, probably. Wait, hold on one second. Let me see, so... 87, and then, so... Wait, so hold on, is that, um... So, 87, and then that's doing 87s. If that is at 137, then, yeah. So, 137, and then something else in that direction. Oh man, I just have to hope that we have enough blocks for this. If I have to mix and match some blocks, then so be it. Anyways, I don't care. I mean, honestly, we've got enough blocks in our inventory to hopefully manage to make enough slabs with. I hope. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to go down there, I think. Wait, let me actually check something. Spawn outside the farm, yeah. Obviously. Alright. Sure. Just get a takeaway, I'd say. Just grab a burger. Yeah. Did we? Oh, I don't really remember. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to place a lot of blocks. But you know what, guys? Honestly, I guess to get this stuff fine. Oopsie daisy, did not mean to do all that. <sighs> if 
this is going to take a while, but yeah, guys, it needs to be within 50 blocks, so yeah, this heart's going to take a while. Oh god, the stuff I do for just trying to get wither skeleton skulls is way too much. Don't know why I'm designed to do this to myself, but I am. Now, guys, I don't. Even if it's like blocks are like that, I think I can still have to place a slab on them no matter what. But the things that are in the lava, guys, I like. I I honestly don't like. If the, if they're in the lava, I'm not bothering to go down there, place a block on them, and then have to build all the way upwards here again. Because if I have to, I'll probably manage to straight away just you know fall straight into the lava immediately and I'm not risking that happening because I mean I don't really have the ability to die to lava here but still we'll um, pick up the crafting table when we have one more block of space actually you know what Uh, this is the part I hate in these farms, guys, because I mean, I don't think I've really made a farm like this before where I've had to place slabs before because, like, I really don't want to bother doing stuff like that. But honestly, whatever I have to do for this farm to work is what I'll have to do. I'll only place them on blocks like there and just there. If they're, like, blocks are in the lava, guys, I'm not bothering to go down there. I don't care. I literally do not care. Like, if, like, I doubt a mob's going to spawn all the way down there. They're mostly usually going to spawn within the vicinity of this bloody thing. So, minus 83, and if we go... Okay, so... So... Minus... 50. Minus 33, I think? Something like that? I'll just place them in blocks that I think they'll mostly spawn on, okay, guys? Like, that's all I'll do. I'll place them on blocks that I feel like they'll probably spawn on. Not blocks that, like, they mostly will definitely spawn on. Because, like, just blocks that, like, I'm pretty... Now, guys, these blocks here, do not bother to place them there, because that's where we need to make sure they spawn at. We're just reducing their spawn area of being around the area itself, so hold on. Um, 850 for there. Oh, God, this is just going to be so tiring. I bet you I think I probably don't have enough slab stuff for slabs for this, do I? If I do, it'll be a miracle. So hold on, let's just build this outwards to here. Wait a second, I just realized. Technically, does that mean that wait, wait, wait. Oh no. Does that mean I also have to build out in oh wait, no, it can't mean that, right? Like it can't mean I also have to build out in that direction, because that's technically more than fifty blocks away, because fifty blocks is here. Yeah, let's just build it like a pathway like this. Oh, this is just going to be so damn tiring. You know what, let's just place them in a... Because, uh, I mean, I can't really be bothered placing them diagonally, because that's probably going to be so annoying. Oh, this is going to be tiring as hell to do. And honestly, na oh, I just, I just really hope that I have enough slabs for this. Because if I don't, I'm probably going to cry. No joke, guys. If I don't have enough slabs, I'll probably cry myself to sleep. Because gonna be, I'm gonna have to go mining for hours on end to get enough blocks for slabs, and I do not intend to go mining for literally hours on end to get some slabs. Like if I have to turn it around, like when I get over there, like I have to turn it around, make it go to the other one, and all that sort of stuff. Then, oh my god, am I gonna be pissed off at that? So wait, so wait, hold on. So this was at 84, so 34. Let's get. Let's just make sure we know the general area of where we're going to be building this thing around, and then yeah, it would help so much if Casper was online. But I think he's probably at like a football thing or something, guys. Also, if it's up beneath lava, guys, it don't matter about the block that's there. Hell, this is going to be annoying to do. So annoying. So freaking annoying. Why did I decide to do this? 
honestly, I might not even bother doing this, uh, guys, because uh, sooner or later, I might just get so tired of placing this many slabs that I'm just going to give up and not bother. But you know what? I'll do it, guys. Seeing as I know you guys probably want me to. Truthfully, you know what? Hold on, I've got it. There we go. I mean, I just made myself have to place more blocks, I guess, but whatever. But no joke, guys, the blocks are in the lava. I am not placing blocks there. I don't care. Like, no joke, those blocks down there, I'm not placing it on them. Like, I don't care. Like, I'm not going down there to place slabs. Just come back up here. I doubt a skeleton or a wither skeleton or anything like that is going to spawn down there. Be gone. Like, no joke, if a wither skeleton actually spawns down there, I'll be surprised. Because usually you mostly see them spawn in the fortress itself. I don't think I've ever seen them spawn outside of a fortress. Like, unless it's on a block that's actually connected properly to the fortress. Like, a main biome section. Otherwise, I don't think I've seen a damn thing spawn anywhere like that. Oh, God. <laughs> Guys, honestly, if I do actually build this farm... Please leave a like on this video, okay? Because honestly, I'm putting myself through torment for this. I think it's like, why are you calling it torment? Well, guys, honestly, look how much time I'm going to have to waste just to do this. This is going to be tiring as fuck. Like, I'm going to be exhausted by the end of this. Because look how many slabs I'm going to have to place, guys. Like, 50 blocks radius. I'm going to have to still go in that direction. And I've got to still go in that direction. That direction. I've got to go in so many directions right now. That's amazing. So guys, so honestly guys, please, if you like this video, please leave a like on it. Because honestly, I'd rather not do this to be fair. I know something is like, then mate, just don't do it. Well guys, honestly, I just really want to, it's, you know, might as well. It will help me out in the future for just anything really. And anyway, it can save me having to make a blaze rod farm. And also, I can get some bones out of this, so I can get bone meal, so it can help me out with a lot of other stuff. But yeah, guys, um, like 50 blocks. Like, if it if it also includes diagonal blocks that are connected in, that's gonna be more annoying than anything. Like, if I just as long as it goes like just in our way, it technically is going to, because like the 50 blocks will go from there to there, or from there to there. Like, I I'm, I'm just pointing in like the direction they'll go in. Okay, guys. So yeah, I kind of have to do it diagonally in a way. Well, I mostly have to just do it with 50 blocks within just that area. So I guess it just means that way and this way. Because if it means that way, like it just goes in that direction. Like it doesn't matter because like that's just three blocks wide. So yeah, guys. Okay, yeah. Okay, I think I can now. Okay, I don't think this is going to be too difficult now. So firstly, we need to place our crafting table, make more slabs. Slab craziness, here we go. We're really running our blocks for our inventory here. Oops! Give me that. Now we just need to quickly do this, make it up to 64. Um, there we go. And now we do this. Grab our crafting table. Um, you know what? We can technically just. Why don't we just destroy some of the things near? Because, guys, I'm not placing blocks on these things that are flying. Like, I'm not going up there to place blocks on them just to come back down. So, the problem is as well, though, that seeing as I'm placing these blocks on Basil, I can hardly see these blocks half the time. So, I don't know which blocks I've already placed them on from a distance. Also, I'm pretty sure you can walk off the slabs when you're crouch walking, can't you? Never mind. I thought you could. For some reason. But honestly, guys, yeah. Please, just leave a like on this video after this, because, oh my god, I'm probably going to run out of blocks from this. I bet you anything, I literally run out of blocks from doing this. If I don't, I'll be surprised. And that's not a joke, I'll be very surprised if I don't run out of blocks from doing this. Um... Um, let's just 
get all these blocks placed. Ah oh, man, I can't wait to have this farm made. But honestly, if I don't have enough slabs for this, guys, then honestly, I am not making this farm. And that's not a joke, guys. Like, if I don't have enough blocks for this, I'm not making this farm. I do not care. I'm not going to go to the overworld again, make them go mining for hours on end, get more blocks, and then come back here, place more of them, and continuously do it again and again. I don't care. I'm not doing it, okay, guys? So, basically... So let's just hope that I've got enough blocks for slabs in this right now. I mean, from the looks of things, I'd say I've got a decent chance. Let's just mine this down a bit, because honestly, I've, technically, you could just mine out every block around the area. Okay, so yeah, 50 blocks in this direction from that coordinate there and that coordinate there to go in over whatever coordinate 50 blocks away is in that direction and also the other direction as well. Because guys, after when you think about it, it says 50 blocks for, away from the thing. So 50 blocks just away from mostly just anything there is. So basically, yeah, that direction and that direction won't matter too much. Just as long as I place blocks along the roof and all that. Because I don't have to go diagonally on that side. This is just going to be so annoying to do. Why am I placing blocks here? <sighs> Hold on a second. I don't need to place blocks here, guys. That's why I was saying that. Because as long as I'm just within the area of that glass, it doesn't matter. Ow. So, hold on. So, wait. So, 799 is the, the first one that we need to be within. So, if I need more blocks, I'll just come back to this side here, guys. Okay? So, if I need more slabs, I'll just mine out this portion right here. Because that one does not need it. Like, this block from the middle towards that wall there does need it, though. So, wait, so hold on. What was this block at? 86. Wait, hold on a second. 86. Yeah, so 86, and then, so, if it's 80, 136. And get these blocks to. So, 7991136. Yeah! Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, this is gonna be annoying. Guys, guys, if you look around the area, look how many blocks we're gonna have to place. I am definitely not gonna have enough blocks, am I? Like if I so, so, how, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, Let's get up to the top of here first. Because the, w if we're building here, guys, it doesn't matter because simply, you know, it, like these blocks won't matter much. So, so every block from here to there, so like everything that's up there, is a block we have to place the slab on. Okay, let's get going. Oh, wait, why am I placing blocks here? So, we need to get up top and we need to start placing slabs. So, hopefully, we should have enough. Huh. Alright. I'd say we might just about have enough. Like, we'll just about, guys. Like, it'll be very close, but we should hopefully have enough. We should hopefully. If we don't, then... Mm, like, if we don't have enough, we'll just have to go get, like, just a few more blocks, really blocks I don't want to get but I'll do if I have to. Why am I placing blocks in this direction still? What's wrong with me? I swear to god. I keep placing blocks here but I don't need to. It just has to be 136. So mine out these blocks here. There we go. Okay so just along here until we're on the other end of it because I'm not going to find out the coordinates of that end of it guys okay. I don't care about those coordinates. <sighs> this is going to be tiring, guys, but hey, honestly, whatever I have to do for this stuff is what I'll do. Be grateful I'm doing this, guys, even though I bet you guys like, why are you saying be grateful? Like, you said you still might not turn this into a realm. Fair enough. But, like, guys, like, if I do turn this into a realm, this is technically also going to help you lot out a lot. Because it saves you having to fight with the skeletons and all that. 
unless you actually want to go fight with a skeleton, in which case, go for it. I'm not going to stop you guys. I'm just placing this stuff here, guys, so then that way, you know. So we're going to have to place blocks that are beneath us as well. So let's just go until, like, you know, we're just all the way up here. So let's see. Um, fuck. I kind of need to go over there to see what block that is. Actually, hold on one second. Do I have my... No, I don't have my spyglass. Let me take a look from here. So, let me try and get closer to it so I can see, like, where the glass is. The glass should be just up there, so... 773, shall we say? Let's just say, let's just say, for the sake of things, that it's here. Okay? Just for the sake of things. 773 will be the other block, okay guys? I don't care if it's not the correct block, so what? It's just a few blocks off anyway. Ah, oh, look at this guy. He's so cute. He's going to die. So let's get this to 773. Oh god, this is going to hurt. Ow. So just from here to here. So let's get places. Oh, I really need to just mine out the blocks in the area to be fair. It'd be a lot easier to do that. Oops. I forgot there were those up there. Oh well. But yeah, let's just place these blocks. Oh god. Um, We'll just place them here as well, though, just to be sure. But yeah, let's place blocks. Okay, let's also just break some blocks around the area. Make it a bit easier for us, because guys, I I'm not going to be able to get up some places, okay? Oh, hello. So, technically, you could really just do this for it, to be fair. Like, just try and get as much lava in the area as possible. But yeah, guys, uh, like, if you're above a complete and utter lava lake, you're in luck for that, okay? I guess I could try and go out into the lava lake, but then I'm going to be placed in more blocks. And I doubt they're going to spawn on random blocks out in the lava lake. Can they spawn out in random blocks in the lava lake, guys? Because I doubt they can, right? And anyway, he said within about 50 blocks. He didn't say precisely 50 blocks. He just said they have to be within at least about 50 blocks, okay? So that's what I'm going to work with. So we'll just start placing blocks around this area for now. Ow! Do I have a slab on there? Yeah, I think I... Yeah, I definitely do. I, I couldn't really see it to be so begin with. Um, Alright, we don't have to do anything there. Like that, we can't jump off on top of it, so I'd say, yeah, we should definitely have enough slabs for this, hopefully. Yeah, we, we should have enough. We should have enough, guys. I hope. Because if we don't, I swear to God, I'm going to be so annoyed. Like, because, guys, I know I wouldn't be too annoyed if we didn't. Because, like, if, if I don't, like, I'll probably just have only a few slabs left to get, but still, just in case, like, I'll still be mad. Because I don't want to have to return to the other world, go mining, then have to come back here. Uh, can we place blocks in here? No, we can't. Okay, now we have to place a slab here, thanks to doing that. Um, yeah, it's, uh, this, like, honestly, even if it's not, like, precisely 50 blocks distance, I don't care. Okay. I literally don't. Like, honestly, I'll do whatever I can manage. Oh, wait. That stuff doesn't have to be. No, no. I'll do what I can manage is all, guys. Don't worry. So, let's bring this pattern all the way over here. The lava is not going to have these blocks in it, like I said, because I'm not bothering to place these blocks on freaking lava. Well, I mean, I'm not bothering to go out into the lava, place slabs on all those blocks out there, and then do it like that. Like, if they're beneath the fortress, I literally do not care. Like, I doubt that's going to matter much. I'm not going down there. Or, like, I guess I could just go into the lava. And, actually, I could try and find a piglin to trade with, hopefully. Find some gold and see if I got stuff to smelt it. Well, actually, no, I'd have to go back to the other world to get some gold. Because I could have gone a fire resistance potion and then gone into the lava and then done it that way. If I can find a bastion close by, I can actually work with that. Because honestly, I don't have, um, you know, fortune on this pickaxe. I've only got silk touch, so even if I break the gold ore, it's only going to drop me the nether gold ore. 
and I would need a furnace to smelt it with and well <laughs> yeah do you see any way for me to make a furnace guys in here and also that way right after I would need something to be able to use to power the furnace with and the only thing I could power it with is probably coal and well the coal that I can get would be from the wither skeletons so yeah guys I'm not going into that lava lake to just make this farm a lot more easier so like if they spawn out in the lava lake they spawn out in the lava lake I'll sort it out in the future for now I don't care I can't really see my screen that well, but the blinds behind me are closed, so I don't know why. Wait, are they still closed, or did my foster keep a part of them open? Oh, he kept the small part of them open, but where? But it needs some sunlight in the room, at least. Oh, man. Okay, well, beneath here, I really don't want to have to place these blocks here. But. Either way, whatever. This is gonna look so weird if Casper just comes along here randomly and sees this. He'll probably be like, why are there so many slabs around this place? It's like, it's for a farm. <laughs> like, just imagine the day I'm gonna have to explain this to Casper when he probably comes through the nether and randomly sees this. Like, he'll probably be like, why are there so many slabs? <laughs> it's like, um, I can explain. Like, as long as he doesn't try to break them. Because if he tried to break them, uh, and actually did break them. Okay, um. I doubt any mobs going to spawn in this random hole, but. Well, I'm going to do what he asked me to and place blocks within the vicinity, guys. You know what? If I have to, guys, I'm pretty sure I can survive that lava anyway, because, you know, I'm peaceful with it. I can hardly take. I hardly take damage from. Well, anything, really. Like, basically, nothing damages me. Like, not even lava damages me much. I know that, guys, because I was in a lot of lava lakes when I went mining for some diamonds earlier. And honestly, I hardly took damage from the lava. I don't think I even took a single bit of damage, really. It's like I had fire resistance on. Well, like, of course I was taking damage, though, guys. But, like, I wasn't having my hearts taken off of me. So, I think that, put simply, I don't think lava can actually kill me. Like, it'll constantly giving me the damage effect like showing me like the damage effect on my screen but you know like it won't well guys like it won't even manage to you know do any actual damage to me is all so I guess I could go into the lava and just you know patch up those blocks as well but oh man should I because I don't really want to is that I'm gonna have to spend so much time in that lava and it's gonna take me a while you know what, guys? Seeing as I know you, so, mm, it might malfunction the farm. Otherwise, I'll bloody do it. Seeing as I don't want this farm to break on itself. Because no joke, I'm not having this farm break. I don't care. Oh wait, okay. So we need to just go to like here for this part of it. So let's go down here now. Um, do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. And do that, and now I'll place slabs on every one of these blocks. And then, yeah, guys, you know what? If we have to, we'll go out into the lava lake. Fine. I just want to make sure that this farm definitely works. Is all the the, the only reason for that, guys. Otherwise, because I don't, because guys, if this farm doesn't work, I, I want it to work at least, because that way I can get more wither schools and all that. Like more wither schools equals more withers to kill, because guys, I can just use a like if you watched my video when I was playing with Casper. And we were um, in the end, and I made that wither killer source system. I can make that again, and then that way, boom, it's like just infinite wither killing. Because we'll have the wither schools we need, after all. So, wait, let me just make sure that I've got the. Yeah, okay, hold on. So, we need that. We need that. Oh, wait, hold on. We need to go around there, 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 there. We need to go to 136, I think it was, right? Do that, do that, do that. Oh wait, hold on. Um, we'll just place them like this for now, and now we need to go all the way over. I did not notice how much distance there was around here right now. Great. <sighs> I'm pretty sure I've placed enough slabs above me, haven't I? Someone's probably like, mate, no, you've missed a few blocks up there. We remembered. Don't worry. That 
Oh, what the hell word did I just say? Guys, if I have missed the blocks, don't worry. I'll go and check right after I've placed blocks down here. Well, slabs, but blocks, slabs, same shit. Um, uh, let's just do this. This is just going to take a while. Hey guys, honestly, hey. Uh, you know me, I'm willing to do this for, you know, managing to at least make, well, this is one, to make some content at least so I can make a farm, two, so I can also get the stuff from the farm. Yeah, it's like, like I said, uh, that free pickaxe, it's in five farms on Luna users, which I think is apparently according to Pine Monkey, but what is that? A sort of stream platform for games and all that? Like, Honestly, yeah, like it looks like such a cool pickaxe, and honestly, I can't wait until I probably see someone using it in game. Like, I bet you anything, I see someone who's going to be using it in game very soon after today. Well, it won't be granted into the lock of streaming, guys, but like, you know, sooner or later it will be. Like, it did say just United Kingdom as well, though. But like, and I'm in the UK, but like, I think it's because like I've selected maybe the wrong part of the UK. I mean, I don't know. Like, I can. Check my false dad's account through um, his Amazon stuff later after this, I guess. Or I can check it tomorrow, I guess. Yeah, I can check it tomorrow, guys. I just want to make this farm now. I'll check it tomorrow. After all, it's not like I'm going to put a purchase through on his account, okay, guys? Like, honestly. So, because some of you guys probably, dude, why would you use his account? What? Are you, can, are you trying to steal? No, guys, honestly. Like, oh, Jesus Christ, why would I try to do that? What? Do you think I'm a thief? Honestly, guys, all I'm doing is just checking to see if it actually is able to work in this region. Because when I selected the county, I selected London, even though I'm in the UK, in Great Britain, in Wales, and I don't know if, like, Wales was a county. Like, I, I really don't know. Also, I think it meant country, right, when it said county. Because, I mean, I don't know. Like, if that's what it meant, then yeah. So, I probably might have selected the wrong region, but, like, Rob might have selected the correct region for his account, so... You know, I can see if his account will work with it. Otherwise, yeah. If it doesn't work, guys, then it doesn't work. But if it does work, I'll try and quickly link my Epic Games account to it. And then I can make sure that, of course, like, I de-link the Epic Games account right after as well. Though. Or I could just find out the password info, I guess. And then just quickly just um, sign that in on my laptop because my laptop has the Epic Games info already installed so it can literally just straight away put it through and then guys but I won't save up his account info of course like I'll just like put the account info in I'll just use the thing that I need to for a bit and then straight away after I've played Fortnite for a bit on it like I don't know like if you have to play a battle royale match or something but if like, you have to I'll of course use my AI lobbies again but like yeah guys, I'll use what I have to to get a free reward because, guys, honestly, who's going to turn down free rewards, huh? Like, anyone who turns down free rewards, no offense, something's wrong with you. Like, seriously. Imagine someone was like, sorry, mate, but no. Um, I made it a rule to myself that the only stuff I could own is if I had to spend money on it. So, like, basically, like, the battle pass, because you got to spend money on that, guys, really. Crew pack, all that sort of stuff. I'd be like, mate, you are just... What is wrong with you? <laughs> like, no joke, you'd have to have something clinically wrong in your brain for that. No offence. Like seriously guys, like whenever I'm saying these things, I don't mean it offensively, okay? I'm gonna see if I can spot any blocks that I might have missed in the vicinity area, but I, th I feel like I'm looking right at a block that I've probably not placed these slabs on, but yeah, I don't see any blocks in the area, so now we need to kind of get back up here. I mean, I could go take a look at his laptop now, guys, because I'm pretty sure he probably has his Amazon account info signed in automatically, because he has his um, BT email thing auto-fill itself out for him. So let's just go check up here real quick, guys, for, like, you know, any blocks we might have forgotten to place blocks on. Um, okay, we need to get up here. I just have to remind myself. Alright, there we go. Okay, yeah, we definitely missed a few blocks up here, guys. Thank God I came back up here. Because otherwise I would have missed these blocks and I would have had to come straight back. How am I supposed to get back over there, though? 
I guess I can jump into the lava and then swim over because guys, like I said, I'm not going to take too much damage in peaceful mode. Like, I'll take some damage, of course, but it's not going to kill me in there. Don't worry. It ain't going to kill me. Well, it might kill me, but I doubt it will, guys. All I have to do is just place blocks on the thing that's in the lava section, is all. I guess I could just leave this lava here now, I think, and save up a few blocks. Because I just have to place blocks around, but yeah, no, no. I can't believe I never thought of that. Like, it could save me a few blocks if I just didn't patch up those lava gaps. But then I'd probably fall straight into them. But yeah, we'll pro just to make sure that the farm works, I'll go into the lava. Fine. I know you guys probably want me to, anyway. But yeah, within a 50 block vicinity, I'd say I should... Yeah, I'd say with the blocks I've still got left in my inventory, I should hopefully have enough slabs to make it. If I don't, I'll be very surprised. Come on. There we go. Yes, yeah, so I'll try seeing if um, Rob has Amazon Prime on his account tomorrow. Because, I mean, I hope he does at least. I mean, I don't know if he does, really. I hope he does, though. I mean, if he doesn't, then I'm not going to make it sign up for his thing, of course. No way in hell. Um, yeah, okay, so... Yeah, we need it to, to be kind of over there, but yeah, so I just placed blocks in the vicinity of the area that I thought that it would be in, okay guys, so if I've probably like managed to miss it out by one or two blocks with the slabs that are like at 773 ending, but like yeah, um, put simply, yeah, I don't really care, okay, I don't care. Like, if they are there, they are there, so what, it's not a big deal. Um, so we need to place blocks around here, I'd say yeah, we should hopefully have just about enough blocks for this, well, slabs, but whatever, you know. I'm glad I've managed to fill up my, I guess I should have saved, I could have saved up and gotten enough, another few extra blocks with me, so I could uh, buy, um, what's it called again? Um, you know, simply, I forget what it is. Um, simply, you know, getting rid of a bit of netherrack, but I thought, like, this thing would be further away. So I picked up more netherrack. Alright, you know what, let's just do this. Do that. We'll make a load of slabs as fast as we can. Just do this, we can spare for space in my inventory. There we go. Alright, now let's pick this up. Alright, we've got a lot more slabs that we've got now. Well, <laughs> that sentence did not make any sense. Alright, let's get down here, place more slabs. Okay, we've definitely got more than enough slabs, I'd say, guys, but you never know. I'm not gonna jinx it, guys. I'm not gonna jinx it. Even though some of you guys probably do you literally just jinx it, though. Fair enough. Like, I guess I have already jinxed it by saying that I've definitely got enough slabs. Can't unjinx myself from it. Uh, let's just do this, do that. Oh god. in the correct location? Oh yeah, they definitely are. Um, let's mine these blocks downwards to us. So we can just, you know, place our slabs on top of them. Nope, did not mean to place that there. Ah oh, well. Hold on. Thank god we managed to pick that up from there somehow. Because I thought like that corner angle was not gonna, was gonna make it, was gonna make it, so I couldn't pick it up. I'm going to be so happy once I manage to place all these damn slabs so I can get on with the rest of this farm. Because the rest of the farm should be very easy, guys. 
well, not too easy because like first I've got to make sure that, you know, I get the mobs to spawn in the location I have to have them spawn in. Then I need to make sure that like I don't die to them. Okay, well I just lost one slab there, but whatever. Honestly, we've got more than that. I'd say we've hopefully got enough. I'm not going to jinx myself. But yeah, it's like if I have to pick up more blocks, not more slabs. Well, I've already got some slabs in the vicinity over at the fortress. So we just need to place these there and that. I sometimes also hate in movies, you guys, to be fair. Like, like, I don't know why I'm suddenly thinking this. I just started randomly thinking of movies. And well, I was thinking, like, sometimes the thing I hate is, like, when, like, it's just, you know, like, it, there's a scene in the trailers, but that scene isn't even in a movie. Like, the scene is does not exist in the movie at all. Like, you have something on the movie. I mean, in the movie trailer, but it's not in the movie itself. Like, seriously. Like, I mean, I don't mind it too much. But, I mean, come on. Like, it's kind of annoying how to put off with that sometimes. Wait, hold on. Um, well, we'll just work with it being like that. So now we kind of have to go down into the lava. So let my health regen real quick, and yeah. This is about to hurt a bit. Well, it's not really going to hurt at all, to be fair, but, well, whatever. You guys get what I mean. Hey, guys, save in case any of you didn't believe that I actually don't take damage from life. Here's proof! I literally would, like, normally you'd think you would take about half heart of damage from that. But as you guys can see, I just... Didn't get set on fire. I got set on fire. Was on fire for like at least 10 seconds. And usually, like, that would have probably dealt like half our damage. I'm guessing my health regens so fast that, like, it doesn't allow me to notice it, is all that happens there. So, yeah. Um. Oh, God. Um. I'm not placing any blocks on them because they're not underneath that passageway there. So, yeah. I'm going to go underneath these blocks here and a few of those blocks out there. Well, actually, those blocks out there, no. I'm just gonna go for those blocks and, um, not those blocks, though. Huh. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> huh. Oh, that was just a chat thing on my thing resetting itself. I was just looking behind me, guys. This thought someone had wrote something into my chat, but no, it was just saying welcome to the chat room twice. Just when my screen shut down on my laptop, like it must have re just reset the stream behind me, so like it just displayed that a second time around. Also, why would my Microsoft Word daily quest out? I'll check when it's um six o'clock because I think it'll be around six o'clock for me. Can't wait for tomorrow's Fortnite update though. Some summer fun. Even though I think Casper said he might be away for most of it. Which is sad, I guess, but whatever. So, let's just place blocks on here. And just until we get to that netherite part. The rest of it, I don't care about. Like the rest of the area, don't care. When did I place the slab here? <laughs> okay, why am I kind of just headbutt it? I guess I could just mine these blocks down as well, though, because, like, I mean, who says they have to be all the way up there? I mean, I could just get it to be lava itself, really. But nah, that's just like slabs. Might as well. Honestly, I came here for a reason. Oh, God. I was about to jump that, and then I just thought, you know what, I can do that. <laughs> Saves me having to go into the lava for a few seconds. Because guys, even though I don't mind having to go into the lava, I don't want to. I just said it like that, guys, because like I, it looked it looked like I was about to fall there. Okay, you know what? Let's just place it on these blocks here, and then you know what? We'll just go straight back up, and 
will just place blocks in right up near the surface, okay? Because if because I don't think they're gonna spawn near a lava lake, guys. And honestly, I'm just gonna play. So we'll place them here, and now we'll just place a few more here, and then we'll just go up to the Nether Fortress, and we'll just place some blocks up there, and then we'll get on with the tutorial. Because I'm getting bored doing this, guys. I know some of you guys are getting bored of me placing slabs all around the location. But guys, you're not the only ones that are bored of it. Okay, I swear down, I asked my character to jump. Okay, I can jump up there? Alright, hold on, this is gonna hurt a bit more. Ow, 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 Um, we definitely don't have enough blocks to get back up there, do we? Oh, wait, hold on. Never mind. We probably do. I didn't notice that was basalt. I thought it was the, um, the deep thing. Because, guys, like, when you think about it, look at it in the inventory. It looks so similar. Like, basalt and cobble deep state look so similar when they're in the inventory. Is something right? Let's get it to thirty. You know what? We'll just place it. Um, so hold on, wait, wait. Yeah, it's around here. So just as long as it's within this area here. Um, I don't think it matters about those blocks, but flipping hell. You know what? We'll just place them around this area for now. If it doesn't, if some mobs spawn around the area, then we'll place more slabs later, okay? But for now, let's just place them just around here. Like, we're not going to bother going over to there and all that, because I can't be bothered. Because I do not want to go downwards, upwards, downwards, upwards, downwards, upwards, and constantly make more and more slabs again and again. It was enjoyable to begin with, but now it's getting boring. And I intend to make this fun today. And it's 20 minutes until fly 6 o'clock. Um, we'll do Huh. You know what, maybe I might go down there just to be sure, okay? I know something else probably do, just do it so that then you know the farm will work. Fine guys, fine. I'd rather not, but fine. Fine. For anyone who wants me to make sure the farm does work, fine. Hope you're happy that you make me do this. I know most of you probably like, dude, we don't care the farm doesn't work too well. But yeah, it's honestly, I know someone out there would want this farm to work as best as it could. So, for anyone who wants it to, fine. But guys, if it doesn't work that well, then if I turn it into a realm and you guys want to try and make it work better, then go get some deep slate or any slabs you want, because I don't really care, and place slabs within a 50 block radius of the farm, or well, of the glass. And then, yeah. Then build. Okay, well, actually, most of the part beneath us seems to be made out of lava, so that won't matter much to us, really. Just need to place a block here, right? Yeah, most of that beneath us is lava, so you know what? Yeah, we'll, we'll actually perhaps leave it like this for now and just, um, you know, build on top of these blocks. So, hold on. So, just around these three main center blocks it is all the blocks we have to build on okay guys oh what the hell just happened there um <laughs> and we'll place blocks here yeah it's like these three blocks are like the main blocks we have to place them on so um yeah Huh. 
Um, hold on, wait. Yeah, one second. Okay, I was just making sure I was going along the correct path, so. Alright, where, where, what block did it end at again? I forget. You know what, we'll just extend this in the same direction, because guys, honestly, when you think about it, look, like, honestly, this is within 50 blocks after all. Because, like, I'm mostly making it within the glass. I'm not going to make, like, a whole square. I'm not making a square of slabs. I don't care. I'm just building it in this direction. here so that then that way we don't have to place the blocks on them. Oh my god, the roof of the nether looks kind of cool when you get to look at it. Because usually if you, this was a normal difficulty on our difficulty for me, then yeah, I'd have a ghast blasting the living daylights out of me. That sounds weirdly sexual. Alright, let's just, um, yeah, you know what, let's get on with this farm now. Let's go on with the next step of the stamp farm. I don't care if this isn't enough slabs, it will have to do. Oh wait, hold on, we actually missed a few. But, like, if it doesn't work, then fine, we'll just place more slabs. Even though I'm tired of placing them already. Alright, I think the next step will be to put it to hard difficulty or something, find their spawn location and then make that like the you know main section for everything. So uh, firstly let's get back over towards it and let's see what we need to do now, hold on. Okay, so basically guys, all I gotta do is go down the line on. Okay, so we need to go down the ladder, guys, and we're gonna have to wait a few minutes for them to spawn in here on hard difficulty. So, oh, hold on, we almost forgot about these walls. All right, so we need to go down here, and we need to wait a few minutes. So, so I'll wait about three minutes. Oh wait, gas could become a problem. Wait, let me check what I'm gonna have to do. Close to the ladder. Break the glass panes that they're in? Dude! Hello, Magma Q. So I've got to break the four that they're in, but I've got to be very careful then, because they can kill me. They can kill me right at that point. So the four that they're in, but I need to be so, so careful at that point. Oh, well there's a blaze up there that just despawned. Oh, I've got those blocks there. Should we take the risk and go take a look now, guys? Oh no. This isn't gonna work, is it? It might work though.
Hello. Why are they still spawning on those blocks? Hold on a second. I need to go investigate what's going on over there. They're still spawning on the blocks over there, weren't they? Is that my imagination? Wait, I can't even... I can't even move. There we are. So, they were spawning over here, though. How? Let's face some more slabs, because they they, they they were spawning on here, right, guys? Like, you saw that. But, I mean, hey, at least we got a spawn spot for them. Let's play slabs here, though. Something must be spawning them here, though, but I don't know how it's spawning them over here. Like, I can understand a certain spot of them, but... Yeah, guys, after this, though, like, I think... Let me see what we do then. I guess after I've broken them and then I put the peaceful. Now kill the mobs. I'll st okay, after I've broken the glass panes that they're in, guys, I will immediately set it to peaceful. So then that way, I don't have to worry about killing them. I kind of have to go down here, though. Because I th they can spawn over here. I didn't notice this spot. Oh, God, this is going to be annoying. I did not want to have to spend more time doing this. Ah, well. I'll do what we have to do. I mean, it already works well enough, I guess, but I guess I want more and more effectiveness from it, you know? Like, I want it to be more effective for me to use. So then, you know, that way I can get more mobs out of it and all. Because I don't want it to be so very slow, okay, guys? And no joke, that's the one thing I don't want out of it. I don't want it to be slow to work. I want it to work as fast as possible. On his thing, he had like three different mob spawn locations, but I'll probably just choose the one that did spawn, of course. So let's just place slabs all along here for now. And then we'll just break the glass panes that they're in if we can manage to, because I don't know how I'm going to really. And then I need to make sure that, like, I don't get killed by them at the time, though. Because they are going to target me the moment I break those panes, after all. That's the problem that I'm going to have. They're going to try to attack me, so I need to be ready to set it to peaceful mode immediately. I, I, like, I need to be prepared to press those buttons as fast as I can. But for now, let's place some blocks down here. Well, slabs, but whatever. You know what I meant, guys. We'll just place blocks all over. We'll place these slabs all over here. And then after that, we'll just, like, honestly, if they still spawn outside the area they're meant to spawn in, then so be it. I'll, I'll work with that, okay? I don't care. Honestly, I'd rather work with it being like just them only being able to spawn there, but I think they must just be spawning on the outside edges where they would normally spawn in as well, of course. Because guys, like technically that, they are going to, of course, try to spawn in their normal locations at the same time. Then I think I also have to break it. Uh, I mean, do I keep all the glass panes for where those mobs are, like not in and all that? Alright, I'm not placing slabs to go up there. I don't care. Alright, you know what? Let's work with... Um, what we've got here, firstly though. Um, let's just place some more blocks here. Another, bl a few blocky blockers there, here. And, um, you know what? Yeah, we'll leave at this. Oh. Uh, do that and okay you're gonna have to be careful now how am I meant to get back out of here though like is there like wait can I place a block when I get up here let's check so I go down here let's imagine I'm going back upwards okay I can do that good to know so let me see what I do after that as well. Kill the mobs. 
Well, as soon as I need to kill them, then yeah, okay, so put it back to hard difficulty. If I see one gas, though, I am immediately getting up there, guys. I'm keeping an eye on that spot right there, though. Wait, is that the spot I covered with slabs? It probably is. Wait. I think I see swords. Oh, wait. Wrong button for camera angle. There's wither skeletons up there, isn't there? I definitely saw with a skeleton there, right? So guys, we need to be prepared to get rid of them as fast as we can. Let's go up it a bit. Still need to wait a little longer. Oh wait, okay, some of them are boiling up right now. But yeah, um, there was definitely some closer to us, so... Oh god, that blaze is coming along the pathway. It's like, hello! Just going for a little stroll. Let's wait here. And, okay, I'm gonna um, keep down the timer on my thing. Uh, once my timer hits um, 2 hours and 22 minutes, guys, then I will go back up to check. Or unless I hear a ghast. If I hear a ghast, oh yeah, I'm going straight up. I'm not having a ghast just blast the living daylights on me. Casper is online now. I do not know what he made his profile picture, by the way, guys, but it's creepy. Hold on. There's definitely some of those guys up there. Um. Hi! You can't see me, right? Uh, I love how I just look over there and I'm like, hello. <laughs> Whoa, okay, that guy is spinning around way too fast. Look at him up there. What's he doing? You okay, sir? Alright, you know what, let's go check now. They're definitely closer now. Hello! Hi, how are you? I am under the water, please help me. Oh, I can't believe I- Oh no, you don't! Don't you dare! Don't you dare! I Screw it, screw it, screw it, screw it, screw it. Fuck you lot. Oh my god. How am I supposed to break them out of there if I've got mobs surrounding my ass? I've got mobs all over me. and I can't, So how am I supposed to get these guys if I can't get... Okay, you know what? Like, I need to be prepared to get them out of there immediately. That's the problem, though. Like, I need to be prepared immediately. You know what? Let's put it to easy difficulty. Make it so I don't have to take too much damage when doing this. What do I have in my inventory to protect myself with? I guess I could place some blocks over there as well to stop them going over there. Or to keep them back or something. Because I can't have a blaze on either side of me, guys. Because it's going to only result in pain. Let's put it to easy difficulty. Because I think easy difficulty is going to be the best option for us. Because otherwise we're just doomed. We're just doomed otherwise. Uh... We just have to have no blazes spawn on that side though, guys. Because if a blaze spawns over there, then that's going to cause us more hassle. So, let's give it, like, two minutes. Um, so, once the timer, um, like, once I've been shooting for 2 hours and 26 minutes, guys, I'll check again. And then that way I need to be prepared to break it open and immediately swap it to peaceful. Hello, mate. How's it going up there? But no, I need to be immediately able to swap it to peaceful after I break them out from their little cage. Wait, did he break all four glass panes? Like, as in, like, even... Hold on. 
So I need to break the two that are closest to um a slab. Like uh so the two that are close to a slab and the two in the center of them. I'll have to break the closest ones to the slab first, and then that like well if I break one of them and then and then I remind myself where the other one was, like where they were precisely, I can swap it to peaceful difficulty after breaking one of them. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll just break one glass pane near the slabs that they're gonna be close to. And then that way I can manage to simply do it that way around. So uh let's go check now, guys. Hello! How are you? Alright, so I need to- Oh no, you don't! Piss off! I said, piss off! Bitch. So they're in that one there, so... Break this block here, and I'll break the rest in peaceful. Can you stop staring at me? I can't break it. Hello. Whoa, you fuckers. Bitches, do not ever try that again. So we break this, we break this, and we break this. Because, guys, I remember that's their exact... How many arrows got shot? That's like five arrows. What the hell? <laughs> Lads need to calm down. You skellies need to calm down, mate. Kill them, yeah, whatever. Place the slab on their spawn points, apparently, I think it looks like. So, we place slabs on their spawns, I don't know why, I'm guessing it's just so we remember. But yeah, that's their spawning blocks. Place a dirt block on a slab, and then let me guess. I and seeing as I can see, he's got the sunflower in his inventory. Um, yeah. And he's holding blocks and glass. So let's get rid of most of our slabs and get some cobbled deep slate. So we're gonna take the glass and. All right, let's pick up the end just now. So, I'll do that. Sunflower on the dirt block. Yeet! That way. Huh. Same way for him, apparently. Looking at the f way the sunflower is. Break the south slab, so these two slabs here. So depends, like guys. So like if it's so you're gonna have to look in that direction because that's east. So you turn to the right, guys, of whatever one the sunflower is looking at. Because apparently the sunflower is always looking east. Now break these two blocks. Break the two blocks that were beneath those slabs. Boom, boom. Place two solid blocks. Okay, I think that must be like their main spawning area then, I'm guessing. Place two... Place two solid blocks on there, and then place two glass blocks on top. So yeah, this is going to be like their main spawning section, I'm guessing. Like the two blocks beneath. Let's hope this works, guys. Wait, the two blocks are on the other. So, wait, so hold on. So the blocks are on. Hold on one second. Let me just check the tutorial, guys, so I can see where he's looking. So he's standing on the glass. He's looking in this direction. Oh, those are the slabs. I forgot. <laughs> Break those glass panes, baby. I don't know why I'm starting to sing. 
Break two slabs and break two blocks, okay. Break blocks surrounding that hole except for the two blocks, so hold on. Let me see what he means. Okay, so every block, like, so let me show you guys. This, this, this block, this block, and this block. Just break those blocks, okay guys? Just break those blocks. Place a solid block in each of the spots, of course. I think it's so like we know like that it's the same blocks, okay guys? Because it's their spawn area. Block slabs and glass panes surrounding the outline. If he said break every glass pane and all that, I would have been so pissed off. It'll be easier to make the farm. So, hold on. What the fucking hell? This looks weird now. So hold on, so yeah, the block's just the... Oopsie. There we go, and we do that. And, okay, hold on. Oh, uh, hold on. Um. Okay, I think that's the outline we have to make, guys. I hope it is. It just makes it easier for the farm, apparently. Hold on. If there's any blocks around the glass blocks, break them. So, hold on. Where did he break out them? Place a solid block at each of the spots that was... So basically, you need to break these blocks here, guys. And then just place a solid block at each of them. I think it's just to, like, help us know where everything is. Four blocks um, in a tower just on here. I'll take a screenshot of these corners later, guys. Four block I walk all around the area. Does that also include those corners? Get off! Uh, here you add for Pepsi Max. Let me see if it means also on the nether brick blocks. Nope, not the nether brick blocks. Honestly, at least this farm will be made sooner or later. And then that way, if I ever want to kill Wither for no reason. Other than just because, you know, might as well get some wither skulls and also get some blaze rods out of it. I'm sure. But guys, I'll get back to my portal through, of course, you know, um, peaceful difficulty. Place a block on each of these spots, which is basically just cover the whole roof for blocks. I don't know what we're going to need the lava for, to be fair. Place a slab beneath every remaining glass pane, you say? Okay, fucking hell. Just when I thought this slab torture was over. Can I place a block, please? Do I have to place them from here? Are you fucking... Oh my god, just kill me. At this point, I would rather die than suffer this. How am I supposed to place them down there? Like, how am I supposed to place them in the middle? How? Like, I don't know how I can do that. Hello. Yeah, I, I, I don't know how I can do that, guys. I, I, I don't know how to place them there. Is there, like, a secret tip to that? Well, we got to be careful. Hold on. Let me see if he shows how to place those glass paint we'll place them there in the middle. 
He just places them. He just does a skip scene thing. Okay, I think I've got an idea of how to do it. After all, as long as I place those back. Wait, does it matter if the glass blocks are connected into them? Then break the glass panes. So basically, it doesn't really matter. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Good to know. Good to fucking know, bitch. You know what, I've got an idea on how to do this actually. If I do this, then I place that block, and then I go all the way over here, I place another slab here, and then I just break the glass panes, I'll already know that like, this is their spawning ground. Because all i got to do now is just literally place those slabs. This makes it easier for me. So let's just get to breaking these things. As I can tell, like, I'm going to have to create like a funnel sort of thing downwards towards that section where they're like beneath where they spawn, so like that way they go downwards. Hopefully, I can build a shelter sort of area for where I am, so then that way, like you know, that way, put simply, I don't have to worry about mobs attacking me from the side. I could tell there was a glass pane from it, I just couldn't see it. There's a glass pane right here. Yeah, so I'll just break these. What the hell's blocking me? Oh. Oops. Sorry about that. Sorry this is taking a while, guys, okay? It's just, like, honestly, I had to place a lot of slabs, okay? For God's sake. I can't be blamed for this. One sec, if I have to place, like, a billion slabs, how can I be blamed? Like, I cannot be blamed for that. Is that block meant to be like that? I think it is, to be fair. I hope it is, at least. Oh, there's another slab right here. And I think I just saw another... No, that was just the white particle effects of this biome. After all, it might not be too effective, guys, but hey, it'll work to a, a, an extent of effectiveness. After all, I'm mostly doing this for Wither Scouts and Skulls. That I don't even need for any reason whatsoever. I just want them for some reason. That I would never understand. I refuse to understand why. So don't bother questioning why I want Wither Skulls, guys. Because not even I know. I wish I could tell you, but I don't know. So don't ask. Oh, how am I meant to... I've got an idea for this. There we go. Oh no, man. There we go. <clears throat> All right. Uh, let's see what's next. After breaking the Epic Games, your July crew pack is now available. You want four minutes on the third of July? Really? So I basically need to... Okay, I need to basically break every block that's beneath that section, but if I'm in survival mode, I don't really care about the fall damage, guys. So, give me a second. Oh, no, let's not go through that wall. Let's go through a different wall. Give me a second. Because, guys, after all, I don't have to care about the fall I'm going to take. Because I can get back on the ladder, can't I? Well, not really on the ladder, on the ladder, but you know what I meant. So, every block that's beneath these walls and all that needs to go. Is there another wall there? Hold on. Yep, there is. Don't worry, guys, I can place that block back. Alright, we're going to have to get prepared to fall. Um, hold on one second. I can do this real quick. Just a minute. Then do that. And... we No fall damage. I see them in peaceful difficulty. I don't have to worry about lava damage. Ow. But I do have to worry about getting hurt from the lava. Emotionally. 
thought the lava was my friend. Can't wait to be able to unlock certain of the assholes though in Fortnite. Actually, I don't think that's really gonna happen tomorrow now. I think that. Okay, that's gonna be their kill chain, bro. Wait, hold on. Place a block on each of the spots beneath the blocks. After you're done with that step, break this bridge. So, hold on. If I can, I'll. Oh, hold on. Let me just. Can I place a block from here? That's not exactly where I wanted it to place, but I'll work with it. I hope I have enough blocks for this. Because after the blocks I had to waste, honestly. Here's hoping I'm going to have enough blocks. Here's hoping. If I have to, I'll mix and match a few blocks with this, guys. I don't care. Destroy the bridge. At this point, if there are any blocks around the farm that don't have slabs, place slabs on them. If there's any blocks around the farm that don't have slabs, place slabs on them. Alright. I just have to hope that, like I said, I have enough blocks in the end of chest and all that for this otherwise I'm gonna have to mix and match a few blocks which I'd rather not have to do but if I have to I will. Huh. Why do you mind slow on a ladder? Also, I can understand if you're underwater but not on a ladder. There we go. Place a slab on each part of the roof. I can tell that's because, like, well, you know, stopping mobs from being able to spawn on here as well. Because they can still spawn on here. Ah. Eight minutes into an 18 minute tutorial. Go to the bottom of my ladder. Once you're at the bottom of this ladder, create the bridge out of the solid blocks until you get underneath the farm. After How am I supposed to know when I'm underneath the farm? Like, that's a distance away from me. <sighs> this is going to be annoying, but okay. Do I have to be just underneath a certain part of it, or does it mean like just underneath, underneath? Let's take some full damage. Why can't I disconnect from the ladder? Oh, what the hell. No, get me get me off of the ladder. So I think you built out like five blocks. Yeah, okay, so... So, and then he built out, like, the re-blocks here. Yeah, I'd say I'm, I'm... I'd say I'm beneath it. And now just build out a platform for the... I hope this is the... No, that's not the correct spot. So, hold on. Where are we on this thing? I think we're just like, you know... Oh, wait, hold on. Let's just build, like, here. I'm gonna have to lose a few blocks here, sadly. Um, we'll break these blocks and then we'll just, you know, hold on. I can't tell if I'm even beneath it, though. That's the problem. Like, how am I supposed to know? Like, that thing is a distance from me. Like, how am I
So I just need to get those blocks from up there all the way down to here. So let's get the end chest blocks. Um, we'll use basalt to tower up guys, but we'll use like, you know, every other block to, you know. So where's our other basalt that we got? Oh, right, there it is. Oh, I'm done. Here's hoping I place them in the correct spot. And guys, then we have to bring all these blocks down to, well, our location, down there. So until you know it's all connected into the floor. Wait, did he only place them in a... I swear down, oh, hold on, so we don't need these corner blocks here. I thought we wouldn't, to be fair. One, two, three... Sent to me, but I'll have sent to me when I go to bed. I also need to really just check my daily quest from Xbox Game Pass. Let me actually quickly check it there off and running now, guys. So the stream might pause itself for a few seconds, but it'll get back up in like a few seconds right after. Okay, I think the quests are needing to reset or something, guys. Because it's saying the quest I've completed already. Which I know I've already completed, thanks to Microsoft stuff. But yeah, um, you could at least tell me which ones I need to do now. Because, guys, it says that it did tell me they would expire today, anyway. So, maybe that's why. Like, their time expiration is what I meant, by the way, guys, by expires. Um, we'll just do this, and break that block, and yeah, okay, good to see, good to see, oh, hold on, um, yeah, I'd say, yep, yep, okay, we actually built it perfectly, really, honestly, I'm actually surprised we managed to do it like that, that easily. That perfectly, I should say. There we go. Break the bottom few blocks, then why do I build them in the first place? Like, why bother placing these blocks if I'm gonna rebuild it? And then if I'm gonna break them? Like, there's no point to placing them! Place the place... Pl uh, face the place opposite of your glass block. So, I can see that they're up there, so I need to face that way. Three blocks in this direction. Okay. Mm. 
No. And fuck off, ads. Yeah, okay, so that's every block, guys, by the way. So, I was just checking just to make sure, because I wasn't completely sure if it meant for me to extend every block, but, yeah. So this is going to be like the drop chamber for where they go. Okay, now we're going to need the pistons and observers, so let's get them. After this is done, I'm going to be so happy. You know what, technically, now that I think about it, um, let's get rid of some of the slabs. And if we grab all this, nope, didn't mean to grab that. We grab all this, um, get rid of that, get rid of that, and get rid of that, and that. We're gonna need our signs, then yeah. There we go, perfect. Okay, so hold on, so we need to face here, um, hold on. So we're right there, so one there even though he has a block behind that so hold on one second guys give me a moment give me a moment give me a moment to work my magic let him cook as they say <laughs> honestly that's all that's all some people can think of when it comes to these guys let him cook so wait so hold on let me just see where he's okay so he placed the first one there turns around okay yep okay i can tell where he's gonna place the next ones so we're gonna need to be here, so there, there, and there. I can already tell he's gonna place them there, guys. I bet you anything. Knew it. So now we need our redstone torches. He's over here in the tutorial first. So place them on each side of these pistons, I'm pretty sure he's gonna do. So and then I think we have to have observers looking right at them. Now observer yep, observers that look directly at them. Hold on one second, we're going to have to build out with a bit here. So give me a second. Um, yeah, hold on. Oh wait, never mind. Wrong thing. So, boom. 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 And lastly, boom. I think I'm going to have to place lava in there and the signs are going to stop it from flowing all the way down. Yep. Wait, so he's now looking over towards the ladder direction. I'm just making sure that like, I'm looking in the same direction as him. Okay guys, don't worry. So, two over here. Four over here. And four over here. Okay, um, okay, no mob should be able to attack me from here unless a blaze spawns up there and nah, it just didn't notice me. Break the two blocks that are just right here. I think that's where I'm gonna have to, you know. Place a block here. Place a block here. Throw a tide. To, what was I about to say? Tident. <laughs> so try it here. Yep. Place a lever here and do this right now. I can already tell what he's going to tell us to do. Thank God I have some slabs still in my inventory. Place glass blocks. Nope, not there. I'm glad I didn't lose that glass block. Place a slab here. This is where you can get XP from. Yeah, 
break this block here. Place four blocks going downwards. Okay, time to take damage again. Goodbye, world. Ow. All right, hold on. I need to. Okay, I'm gonna have to get. get, get why am I flipping? Not able to speak English. All right, hold on. We need to just do this. Do that. Okay, if we just go across here, guys. We can get to where we need to go. For now, don't worry. We'll break this bridge, because guys. I'm in survival mode still. He's in creative. Okay, I don't think it was meant to be like that, but whatever. There's a block here, two blocks here, and hold on, you know what, seems we need to do this on here, let me just, um, you know, break them now. Here's hoping this farm will work, but it should. If it doesn't, I swear on my days, I'm going to be pissed. Because that would mean I would just wasted so much time for nothing. He's right at the lava in his tutorial. So make sure I'm facing the triangle killer. Ah, oh, that's so cute. You're lucky you can't die to lava. Place two chests. Um, hold on. One here. One here. Wait, am I crouched? Oh yeah, I am crouched. Place a hopper on top of it, obviously. I wonder why we need a um lava. Place down a rail, and then you just need to place down the minecart on top of it, guys. Of course. I think you got it. Place a block at each spot around it, guys. So, if you're in survival mode, well, you might want to just turn to peace on it so you don't have to take damage from lava. But otherwise, drink a potion of fire resistance, guys. I mean, honestly, I'm wishing I had for all that, but I didn't. I might make a piglin trade and farm in the future to make it easier for fire resistance potions, or I can just try and use my froglet farm because it gives magma green quite often. It's important that the micro popper is under one of the four blocks of the shrine. That will be the collection system in this farm. The minecart hopper will collect loot from the trial killer, then follow that loot into the hopper. That hopper will then follow the loot into that collection chest. Now place three ladders over huh. here. The next step is to place four slabs like this. Place four slabs on the blocks we are standing on. To of course stop, you know, mobs spawning. Now place three ladders over here. Place three ladders. Damn it, I threw those ladders out. I forgot I was going to need them. Fucking hell. Is there any biome close by where I can farm wood? Hold on one second. Maybe I ought to try and find a biome close by that gives wood, but... You know what? I've got no idea. Seems it's only going to be to access this location anyway. It doesn't really matter if I do this right now. I can bring some ladders back with me. Oopsie, I need to go back down by a bit. Ow. I mean, let's see if we can find any wood in the location when we're here. I could just break some of the ladders as well, I guess. But honestly, uh, yeah, this is going to become a problem because I need the, I need those ladders, but I didn't think twice about throwing them. Once you have done that, count up four blocks for this observer. One, two, three, four. Then break these two blocks. 
Now, four blocks from the observer, guys. That's here. One, two, three, and then you break those two blocks, and then I'm guessing this is where the lava comes in. There we go. Oh man, if only I thought th about this. The lady. Hmm. Place two signs there. Okay, sure. Hold on, let me just go back down by one block. Connect this first. Um, and then I think I need to place like them again. Count up five blocks from the piston. That's on the um, identical side of this. So, one, two, three, four, five. I'm guessing I break these blocks. Yeah, hold on. Uh, please be. Yeah, yeah. There's two signs on here, I'm thinking. I didn't make sure I am where he's. Yeah, okay, hold on. I think he's. Yeah, he's placing them on these blocks. Then I think the lava goes on top of them, of course. Three blocks here. Three blocks there. Did he do his things correctly or something? Or did I just do them incorrectly? Either way. I'm just going to place them in there like that. Oh my god, why do I keep getting ads? I need to place them in a ring around it, guys. There we go. Place a slab on each of those blocks. Fucking hell, man. I want this tutorial to be over already. I'm getting bored. Front and tanker. Break those random as hell. Oh, uh. Oh no! Ow, you fuckers! I'm gonna have to break those other blocks, guys, but I can't exactly. Oh, wait, never mind. I think I can't exactly reach them from it. Never mind though. Oh wait, there are some blocks I need to be able to. Whoa! I can't tell what block I'm looking at when I'm. Doing it from this angle. Let me see how much time is left. 13 out of 18 minutes. Oh. <laughs> I want this torture to be over with. I'm going to be so happy once this tutorial is done. Place lava at both those spots that were just. Okay, what the hell? I'm sorry, like, something must have gone wrong with mine. Because I'm sorry, like, his thing was was Flipping hell. Hold on one second, guys, I've got an idea. Let me go flipping out with your bloody game. This might not ruin the farm, but whatever. If it ruins the farm, it ruins the farm. I don't care any longer. I want this farm over with. Actually, it might not even ruin it at all. I hope it doesn't. If it 
done, I'm going mad. Because I've just spent so much time on this, and I'm not having it ruin the farm because of whatever the hell's happening now. Like, I must have just done one part of it incorrectly. But yeah, place lava there, and lava there. And then that, I think that must just damage the mobs before they, um, you know, get down there so it can hit, catches them. Because they can't... Replace those two blocks are uh, here. This better work. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna be pissed. Place the two blocks beneath here. I swear to God. Close the front and try and kill the blocks. Oh, this is gonna be lovely. I'm gonna enjoy doing this. I'm gonna hate everything of this. And just remind me never to do this again, guys. This is annoying. Um, there we go. Yeah. So we need to place a ring around here, guys. Then we need to build it up, it by, uh, up to a thing, three blocks or four, something like that. This is, of course, going to be where I can go with FK, guys. I think you see, I can't really tell. Did he cover the whole thing or did he just cover the front of it? I think he just covered the front of it, to be fair. Is that meant to be lit? it was. Just to be sure, I'm going to do that. Because I don't want to risk this farm breaking. Because if this farm breaks, I'm going to be so annoyed. <sighs> like, no, 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 if this farm breaks, I'm actually going to be mad annoyed. So this farm better not decide to break on if it does, I'm actually just gonna literally TNT. Like, I'm gonna go back to the overworld, I'm gonna grab all my TNT, and I'm gonna TNT this whole place. And that's not a joke, I will literally TNT this whole place into oblivion, because I'm not correcting it, guys. Like, I'm not spending time breaking it apart and trying to correct it again. I have to place literally so many slabs around the area already, I'm not doing anything else. If this doesn't work, I'm blowing the place up. No questions asked. Well, I won't actually blow this place up, guys, but I'll be mad, okay? After you've done that, go over to the bridge that connects your ladder to your platform. Then bridge. bridge that connects the ladder to the platform. I didn't even create that one, because I probably broke it. Break three blocks, why not just two? Either way, this way, I was hoping we'd be able to build this nest, and then that way, you know. Fill in the whole area with slabs. Yay! I love filling everything with slabs. This is so enjoyable. I'm placing slabs everywhere. Honestly, it'd be so nice if I didn't have to have, if I had an actual full on lava. Please tell me this tutorial is done now. What else do I have in my inventory that I'm probably going to need? Okay, all I see that I'm going to need is a torch. Oh. Any blocks that are around the triangle, killer guys? Place slabs on them. Oh. This tutorial should almost be over, guys. This absolute pain should almost be over. And then I can end the stream, because, guys, I don't mind doing a stream, but... Oh my god, get a lost cookie. Just need that my cat, guys. I'm 
I'm going to be so happy once I can activate this farm. Because uh, if it doesn't work, then I'm going to be mad. Is a torch in this room. There's a torch in the room. Please tell me that was the last step. Please. I beg you. I need this to be the last step, guys. I really do. Make sure the blocks will cover the slabs. Where? Come on. Yeah, skipping this. Oh, okay, guys. Okay, guys, I think that now we might have just. Sure. I really don't mind what we have. Guys, this should be the farm completed, so let's take a look. So firstly, do this, and then just simply do this, and this should totally work. Please go away a while. Please work, please work, please work. Hello! It works. Thank god it works. I'm gonna keep my sword out though. Actually, no, we need it to mostly. Hello! Thank god this works. Hello! I'll take out my loot and sword guys in a minute. Also, when I go for my tea, I'll. Well, well I'll probably just have tea upstairs. But yeah, I'm probably going to sit here for a while. Now, we need to make a wither skeleton. Because, guys, wither skeletons can actually survive in lava, just to let you know. I found that out in a weird way. It's because we're just doing on there. We saw a nether force just. And I saw a wither skeleton fall in lava, I was like, oh, he's an idiot. Uh, but then I saw his head poking out, I was like, oh, hi! Where's a wither skeleton when you want one? I don't know, wither skeleton came right through the left hand side. And it was like, hello. Let's just watch them here. Because we can see them a bit earlier on then. Guys, in case you're wondering why it wasn't water, well guys, in case you, no, you can't place water in the nether. Okay, sometimes we must have to... Oh, I heard something. Yep, hello! Oh wait, I just remember my arm had to absorb some actually as well, because I think my arm had... Did I just drop into there, or was that just the particle effects in the area? Oh, one second. Whoa! Is there a wither skeleton up here? Whoa! Hello! Oh, look at those blazers! Shit! I hear oh, no, you don't! Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Don't you even think about me! Don't you even think about firing a flipping gas asshole blast at me? This doesn't seem to be as effective as I hoped it would be. Especially there's no whiz guns are here currently. Let me check his video again, see how long he was standing there. Oh, there we go! <laughs> I was about to check his video to see how long he was standing there, waiting for wither skeletons, and what do you know? I'm guessing this must take a long time. You know what, guys? If the chest beneath here becomes a mess, I don't really care. And you know what? Let's just look to our sword. That way, we have the loot and effect on. Because, guys, the loot and effect will affect the trident. 
Sadly, I chuck out those lads. Because otherwise, I could check the collection system now. But then I'd have to break a slab, and that would probably cause problems in the farm. There's a skeleton, right? There's a blaze up there. Or maybe it's outside here. I swear down, it's outside here. Nope. Okay, I think I must have messed something up when I was up there, so this farm isn't as effective as it could be. Because honestly, usually whenever I make these farms, they are mega effective. This farm just doesn't seem as effective as it could be. I hear blazes, but they're probably outside here. Yeah, you know what, I'm just gonna sit here for a while, AFK or something. Live streaming pause. No, it's not. Yeah, it's, thank you for watching. I haven't enjoyed this live stream. I have suffered for a while doing this, but yeah, thanks for watching. I haven't enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in my next live stream, where maybe I might even try and fight them with all the end round or something, but my next live stream will probably be on Fortnite one, guys, so I'll see you guys then. Bye.